Hi everyone! Hello! Hello, hello! Oh my goodness, it has been so long since we were in the kitchen. Hi, welcome. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope everyone's excited. Um, hello Mox, hello Tim, hello Dottie, and hello anyone else who is lurking and or working. You're welcome to stick around. Um, I'm very excited today. We are making pork belly. This has been a recipe request from Hit People Guy from way back, way, way back. So I'm, fi I'm glad that we're finally getting a chance to make it. It's been, basically I've been putting it off because I would have had to go and get pork belly and that scared me for some reason, but I have it now. In fact, I have too much. So we may end up freezing some of it for another day because I think I have double what I need because um, I thought I needed 500 grams of pork belly. So I asked for 500 grams and the guy was like, uh, I've kind of cut 600 grams, is that okay? It's just difficult to cut it exactly because I can't weigh it at the same time. And I was like, you know what? It's less stress for you. Just give me the 600, it's fine. I'll just freeze the rest. And then I checked the recipe and I needed 300. So I have literally double what I need. So that's fine. But hi, have I taken my iron? I have taken my first iron of the day. Um, I will need to take my second and third at some point, but we don't need them yet. But thank you very much, Tim, for reminding me. And thank you for the compliment on my headband. Um, I should say uh, that the recipe we're using, because I've annoyed myself in the past by not saying this at the beginning of the video. So I've, I'm like, ah, I can't remember what recipe I used. So the recipe we're using is from The Walks of Life. That is the name of the blog. The recipe link is Kachow in the chat. Um, yes, we're using a recipe for the first time in a while. Um, this is a specific recipe I was sent. We are making specifically Shanghai style braised pork belly. It's gonna take ages in, in a pan. It's like 45 minutes in the wok. Um, so while that is doing its thing, we'll make some sides. I'm gonna make some rice and I'm gonna make some cabbage, but we're gonna like try and make it tasty. I have no plans yet. We'll work with it. We'll work with it. We have, I have white cabbage in the fridge. So we'll work out what we're doing with it. Um, and I might make some, I don't, I'm not gonna make bread. The original plan was I was gonna make Golden One's recipe request at the same time. But then I realized if I was gonna make like proper bread, it was gonna take a while to prove, which means it would be a while waiting. And I should have probably started it before the stream. So we're not doing, excuse me, we're not gonna do the um, bread as well today, but I do have the stuff to make banana bread if we need something to kill some time. We can make some banana bread, so. Is that cool? Is everyone fine with that? Everyone fine and dandy? Everyone hippie happy hoppening for some reason was what my brain wanted me to say. Um, hi Beth! Um, and yes, okay, I think we're good to go. It's been a long time since I've been in the kitchen for a stream, so I'm kind of a little bit all over the place. I'm gonna get some, actually, I'm gonna get some ice for my water. It's not Copperberg, it is just good old H2O from the tap. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Boop! I didn't have my lights on. How am I supposed to do a professional set looking stream without my fancy lights, huh? Huh? Aww. Good. I'm glad Jules having a good snooze. Crackle, crackle, crackle goes the ice. Um, so yes. Went to my local butcher. Right, actually, I have a story. I did talk about this last night, but if you weren't able to make the stream last night, you won't know. Um, Plop. I um, went, so, okay, I was going to get the pork belly delivered because my local butchers does home deliveries, but the only, th I could only get it one and a half kilos, or is it almost two kilos? That was the smallest amount that they would send. Um, so I was like, I only need, well, I, I thought 500 grams, but I actually needed 300 grams. So I thought that's a bit excessive to have that much extra for like, it was quite expensive because obviously it was a lot more than I needed. Um, so I was like, right, I'm going to go to the shops and I'll get it from the butchers themselves. And then I thought I should probably not get it when I'm getting the weekly shop because, especially because I'm not going that way anyway, but, um, because I'm going to end up having it in the fridge for a while and it might not be that great because I don't know how long they've had it for and it might I don't think it was going to go off but I wanted to have the best chance of it being really nice um so I was like okay uh, I will get it the day before the stream so I went in yesterday and I was like please let them have it please let them have it and they didn't have it but they said that they were getting some this morning in their delivery in the morning and that they would keep some aside um for me so I went in at about I think it was about 10 
that I ended up going in? Maybe, no, it might have been a bit after 10. I went to go in earlier, but then I was like, if they only get their deliveries at 9, I don't want to be like waiting for them to unpack their delivery because I've been there. So I went in this morning and I got the pork belly from the butchers. Boneless, but not skinless because the recipe told me to keep the skin on. So it does freak me out a little bit that it has the skin on because it, you know, I don't like to be <laughs> confronted with the morality of the fact that I'm eating an animal. I know I'm, I'm only, I'm kind of joking because I realize of course all, all the time that I'm having meat, that it's an animal and I usually do feel quite guilty, but we're gonna make this. It's gonna be great. Basically what we have to do is we have to make a sauce, sauce burger sauce, um, with dark soy sauce and light soy sauce, which I bought because I only had a little bit of soy sauce left. So I thought, you know what? I'll just get a bottle of each because I'm not fully sure which one I have. I'm pretty sure the one I already have is, well, it says rich and mellow, but it's Korean soy sauce. It doesn't say if it's light or dark. So I'm not gonna use this today because I don't know which one it is. Um, but I got ones that specifically said light and dark. Here they are, sitting at the table. Um, so this is all the specialist ingredients. We also need sugar, and I will double check what else we need. Oh, Shaoxing wine, which I also have. Spelled differently, but I think it's the same thing. So, sugar, and where's my Shaoxing wine? I rarely ever use it, so it's right at the back. There it is. Shaoxing wine! There we go. Um, I'll keep that safe. That's my receipt for my pork belly. A light and a dark, so you're losing liquid force. Yes, the force. I am using the force to make my source. S sauce. That was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But let me um, get the recipe up on my phone so we can get it right. Light and so dark soy sauce distinctions originate in China. That makes sense. So that's why my Korean one is not, doesn't specify. Makes sense to me. Some Japanese sauces use a distinction. Hi, Ego. How are you doing? What are you up to today? I'm just quickly uh, opening my link, if it will let me. There we go. Um, also, yes, please excuse my phone is plugged in. It was already at like 40% and, you know, I've got a whole day, got a whole thing to work through. So I need to plug it in. Um, oh, I could have actually used the, the wall socket, this is a wall socket, I forgot, I don't have my little, um, Wi-Fi box plugged in. Anyway, it doesn't really matter right now, I might go get it in a minute. I'm not forgive you for that. You do nothing to be forgiven, young battle. Pano on, pano on. Oh, that's amazing, can we, can we make this a thing? So, uh, you may notice, yesterday I did a little bit of work on the stream, not much but I've added a couple of uh, new redemptions that you can use. Um, look it up really doesn't make any difference on a cooking stream, so don't bother wasting your points on that. Um, but, so there's there's one called look it up, which is basically for if we're playing a game and I can't, I can't figure out the answer, you're essentially giving me permission to Google it. <laughs> that's what that's for. Um, I might actually, I've just had a thought, I might actually set that so I can like tick it off so I can refund people if I don't need to look something up. Yes, I'm gonna do that really quickly. Um, there's a little behind the scenes looksies. Basically I have a button that means I can, I have it in a little queue so I can like tick off that I've done your request or your whatever it is. So I have that for the recipe requests. Um, and there's one for roll for initiative. So you can get me to roll a, rat, a d20. So I brought through my dice that are not actually a set character. So I because they don't tend to like me. Just just for fun, not for anything in particular. Just just, just so I can roll a d20, just out for funsies. Um, otherwise, Indonesian, Korean, Vietnamese soy sauce tend to define their varieties differently. Ah, I did have, hold on. I have, maybe I used it up. I think it's Vietnamese soy sauce. Nope, that's fish sauce, hold on. It's a similar size bottle though. Can I find it, can I find it? Apparently not. I also have HP sauce in here. I don't think I've ever really used. Um, 
that's my raspberry vinegar. Oh, I think I may have actually used it up, but it was incredibly thick. Oh no, here it is. Uh, Indonesian. It's not actually soy sauce. I was wrong. It's ketchup manis. Not soy sauce. Ignore me. For a while I thought that was Indonesian soy sauce, but it's not. It's a different thing entirely. So, yeah, my cupboard is full of bottles of stuff of various kinds. I recently got a balsamic glaze so I could make the cherry chicken again, but without having to cook down balsamic vinegar and kill myself with the fumes like I did the other week. I'm all right. Things have, excuse me, can you not? Thank you, something just popped up to interrupt my reading of the chat. Um, I'm, things have been hard for me recently, so I'm mostly on support duty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I'm sorry to hear Dragon, but also, hi Dragon, I saw you come in earlier. I'm sorry I didn't say hello, but you're excited for the pork belly. I'm sad, I'm sorry to hear that things have been a bit rubbish for you recently. Um, if you need any sweet treat based happiness gifts, that was a weird sentence, but please let me know. When dealing with sauces, beware of estoy sauce. Sentient. Es estoy? Es What? <laughs> right. Um, hi, Luco! I think I'm going to go quickly get my phone charger and um, and my notebook because I forgot to bring my notebook. You know what? I always do this. I forget every week. My little black notebook, which is where I write ideas if I think of things while I'm streaming. And normally it's on my desk, so it's fine if I'm doing a gaming stream, but it's not fine if I'm in here. So I'm going to quickly pop you on pause, but I won't mute my mic. This is just so I can cut it out later when I'm editing it and also so people know why I'm not in the room. But there you go. I'm gonna go grab my charger and my notebook. I will be right back. I'm not sure where I made a ghost noise as I disappeared there, but <laughs> mostly been distracting myself with crochet and Lego games. Ooh, God, excuse me. Crochet and Lego games, honestly, not a bad combo. I love Lego games. Um, my only sadness is most of my Lego games are for consoles that I don't have permanently plugged into the TV, so I have to make an effort to like switch cables around if I want to play them. And so usually if I'm wanting to just zone out, I can't be bothered. Like I have Harry Potter for the Switch, for the Switch. I have Harry Potter for Steam, but all the rest of them are either my Xbox 360 or like the PS2. <laughs> are they even out on the PS2? I don't know. Um, sending hugs to anyone in chat who needs it. Yes. See Dottie, you're so, you're so positive. I love you being here. Um, I have a little black book, do I know? <laughs> it's a very exciting little black book. Hold on, let me show you how exciting it is. It's got lots of scribbles of things I'm gonna work on and my plan for the cheeseburger pizza and a bunch of games you guys have suggested. It's so exciting. It's literally just anything I think of. It doesn't have to be stream related, but it usually is. It goes in here and then at the end of the stream, I can check it and like write things down in wherever they need to go. Like my planning um, diary or, you know, my Trello board or wherever I need to put it, but it's just so it can, so I don't have to f fuss around with all of those things. It's very useful. I would recommend getting yourself a brain dump notebooky thing while you're doing work. So you don't go, oh, I was supposed to do that thing and then get up and do it and then forget about the thing you were already doing. Cause that's what I do. Hence why I have uh, need to write that email about ADHD. Driving home, okay, stay safe. Just coming from a company picnic that I've been able to attend for the first time in almost five years. They always hold it at 3 p.m. and I'm usually in bed by then. Oh, I'm so glad. I know you're driving, but please remember to tell us about the picnic when you get back. Kiap manis or kikap manis is a sweet and soy sauce with an almost syrupy thickness. It really is thick. Like it's, that's why I remembered it as being strange because I was like, it's so, so thick and goopy. Uh, level of sweetness means it's closer to Chinese sweet bean sauce and soy, though. Ah. Maybe we should do a... Here we go. This is something I need to write in my book. Maybe we should do a stream where we go through all my stuff in the cupboards. I've already done one of these, but that was much more a... I'm doing it on the fly kind of thing. But I have so many, like, dribs and drabs of random things. I think the Indonesian soy sauce thing was given to me by someone who was making a very specific recipe but they were like I'm never going to use this again but you do a lot of cooking so here take this um that's how I remember it anyway 
and I've got like spicy Korean red pepper flakes that are in the cupboard because I literally never use them. I use them like once uh, when we were doing Korean month. That's how long ago. That was like, that was three years ago. I don't know if they're, they'll still be good. They're red pepper. They'll be fine. Um, anyway, so let's have a chug of monster. And let me check what I'm supposed to do because I know this is going to have to cook for a while. But not as long as I expected, really. Like, normally I feel like pork belly has to cook for such a long time and this one's only like 45 minutes. So, we have to cut the pork belly up, blanch the pork belly for a couple of minutes, take it out, rinse it, and then add sugar and oil to the wok, add the pork, and then add the wine, soy sauce, soy sauce, water, and then cook it. Oh, I have to cover it. Hope I have enough tin foil. Um, until 45, for 45 minutes and stir every 10 minutes. Yeah, that's it. That's really it. And then once it's done, if there's too much liquid left, just cook it down. So I basically just have to try really hard not to burn this because it is like sugar on the bottom. Um, let's turn my do not disturb on so I don't get notifications while I'm streaming. And yeah, I guess the first thing we're going to do is chop up the pork belly and weigh it because I've done too much. And the recipe specifically says that you do have to, because there's enough sauce for this amount of pork belly. So if you are going to do more, you have to adjust it. And I don't really want to do lots and lots. So I'm going to, actually, how much does it, how many people does it serve? It says it serves four people. So if it's supposed to be a side, then I guess like two people for a main. That makes sense. That kind of makes sense because we're having it with rice and cabbage, so it's not just like the only thing we're eating. Um, like I said, the recipe says skin on, so I uh, so because the butcher asked me, he was like, "Do you want it boneless?" I was like, "Yes." He was like, "Do you want it skinless?" And I was like, "Uh, I don't know. Let me find out for you." Because I phoned up this morning to make sure they definitely got it in, because I didn't want to make the journey waste, you know, half an hour of my day, if not more, actually. Um, making the journey in if they didn't actually get it. So luckily they did. Stay hydrated, everyone. Nightbot says so. Oh, also, you may notice the camera is in a different place today. That's because we're going to be cooking on the hob because my wok, as far as I know, is not induction friendly. So we're going to have to move it to the hob. So we're going to have to change the camera angle from normal. That works for me. So let's see get this bag open. I also got myself a sausage roll from the from the butchers. But my stomach really hurt after I ate it. I hope it was unrelated. I hope it wasn't the sausage roll that made my stomach hurt. Right, so let's take off these bracelets for now. Here we are. Hunk of hunk of burning love. Look at that. Look at that. That is some. That's some thick pork belly. Look at look at that. Look at the amount of fat on that. I don't think it's this. Yeah, it's not the same all the way. And that's just because it's the end piece. But yeah, they got a fresh one in this morning, and they said that they would. Ooh, ooh, I don't like that. That's a nipple. <laughs> Wait, is that safe for TOS? Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Um, I am going to have to freeze some of this. Can you freeze pork belly? I looked it up and nothing said you couldn't. But, yeah. Because I really want to get some good crackling as well. Apologies. I know a lot of vegetarians and vegans follow my stream and watch it. I know it's not very pleasant to see a big chunk of meat like that, especially one that has a nipple. Freeze TOS, freeze TOS police. You can freeze pork belly, yes. Wonderful, that's great. <laughs> Just gonna be like, hold on, have I got a, oh, there we go. Is this against TOS? Oh, there's a nipple. <laughs> okay, Um. right, back to the count can. So this is 620-ish, so I need 340. So maybe if I take this odd side, uh, 
I'm gonna have to chop that off because I don't want that involved. But maybe that? I'll get a knife. Get one of my nice new big knives. It's gonna take a minute to get. Oh no, wow. Oh my god. I was gonna be like, it's gonna take a while to get through the skin, but look at that! I'm gonna chop it in smaller pieces. Oh, look at that. Look how amazing that looks. I'm assuming we just, if I want, when I want to defrost it, I just have to defrost it, um, uh, like overnight in the fridge. Because otherwise it's gonna not be as nice. Holy moly. I am sending that to Joe. See how good that looks. We can do something with that later. Hi, Sultan. How you doing? Right. So if I take this off, that's two ninety two. So I could get like a strip of this, maybe. Oh my God! It's three hundred and forty exactly. Like literally exact. Which is what I need for the recipe. That was impressive. I didn't expect to get it that bang on. One of those days. Hi, Evil Marksman! Hi, hi! Alright, I'm gonna put this back in the fridge for now, but I will- I do have to remember to, um, freeze it. In a different bag. Because... I will- I mean, I guess I could probably try and use it, but I feel like I won't use it. And then it'll wait- it's a waste of money. It was quite- it was expensive, so... I wanna make sure I actually get my money's worth. It wasn't like super pricey, but you know, I don't normally buy stuff from the butchers. Though, technically the- I thought Doc had three legs. Technically the uh, butcher should be cheaper, to, but have, do you have a pressure cooker? I've got one that changed my life. No, I have seen people talk about them. Um, is an instant pot- can it, I think an instant pot can do pressure cooker, right? Is that right? Did I hear that? I feel like I was told that by someone. Actually, I'm gonna leave this these scales out. I might need them. Yeah, usual process of defrost thoroughly overnight. If you're ever freezing like 600 grams plus of anything at once in a solid chunk, it can take longer than just overnight in the fridge. You know how Christmas turkeys. Oh right, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, I mean, I'm trying to decide whether I would probably just leave it. I wouldn't try and cut it up because it's not that big. Look at that. Like, I know it's not cooked yet, so it's not super appealing, but... Yeah, I think if I was gonna get a pressure cooker, I would probably try and get an instant pot, because then it has, like, lots of other things. Because I can't really... I don't have much kitchen space, so I can't really afford getting, uh... Can't really justify, I should say, um, getting a pressure cooker and then getting another thing. I do have... I already have a slow cooker. But I know that's completely different. But the slow cooker does get a lot of use, honestly. Um, especially when we have D&D &D nights. Um, days. Because we'll, we'll put stuff in the slow cooker before we start playing. And then by the time the session's ended, six hours later, dinner's ready. And then we don't have to stress about dinner after the game. It's wonderful. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I bought a slow cooker when I was in uni. So that I could make stuff overnight. Or like, while I was at uni. But now it's become a lot more useful for D&D. If I need to, I will, um, if, if I, if I do get an instant pot, a multi-cooker, then I will, you know, replace my slow cooker, but it still works perfectly fine, so I'll probably just donate it to a charity shop or something, or sell it or whatever, because it's, it's survived for a long time, it's a very good, it's a very good slow cooker. Um, also makes the best rice. Oh, okay. My parents have a pressure cooker, but it's really old and the pressure valve doesn't work anymore, so it's mostly used for making popcorn. Hey, you know what? Works for me. I also know that the people sell, people, companies sell like pressure cooker lids that are just, it's just a lid. And you just put it on a regular pan and it has the same effect because it like seals it in and then it does the pressure cooking stuff. But I have heard some very good things about pressure cookers, especially with things like things you would have to cook for a really long time. So, right, I'm gonna start chopping this. It says into three quarter inch pieces. 
but I don't measure in inches, so I'm gonna have to look up what that is in centimeters. It's like two centimeters. They make the best you, that makes sense. An Instant Pot is like a programmable pressure cooker. Yeah, I mean, oh, yes. I think it's just under two centimeters. That does help. Um, right, let's switch back to this. I'm gonna take off this uh, anti-TOS nipple. Oh, I feel so weird, why? Ugh. It must be a nipple. I can't think what else this would be. Stop reminding me that I'm eating a pig, please. But that's why I wanted to get it from a butcher's because, you know, I, first of all, I know where this has come from because they only have two farms that they they get their pork from apparently. So I could tell you what where what farms has come from, and also I know that they're obviously going to use all of it because they sell all of the pig. Well, not all of it. They don't sell the head, but hopefully they do something with that. All right, nipple gone. Very odd. Strange moment to cut off a nipple. Poor cheeks are great though. Yeah, well I've heard that as well. I've also heard that they used to be very much people be like, ew, pork cheek, but now it's like, ooh, delicacy. It's pork belly and that's where it tends to be for the animal for four legs. And stop telling me this. I know. Oh, I don't want to cut this because it looks so good, but it's I, I have more pork belly if I want to like just make tasty pork belly. Right, two centimeters, so that's actually bigger than I expected. Because that's like a centimeter. Hold on, it's hard to show you now we're not you're not above the camera's normally up here, up here, but now it's in front of me, so I've got to be a bit more specific about where I put my knife. So that's like a centimeter, so that's like two centimeters, I would say. There we go. I had to get a bit of friction going and then I got through. These are my beautiful new knives. I know I show them off every stream, but if you haven't been here, I was gifted these by some amazing friends for my birthday, and they are gorgeous. Oh my god, look at that layering. <gasps> I did see a recipe for vegan pork belly um, that was like bread, like a very thin crust, and it was like coconut milk, like coconut fat, and then some other stuff. And I really want to, I don't, obviously it wouldn't be the same, but I really want to try and make it because I think it'd be really interesting. It's like an experiment. Oh no, I picked up the nipple. Things I didn't think I would say today. But that sometimes gets pork belly and marinades in char sweet marinade they get from the shops. Oh yes, that's kind of, I think that's what I did when I made the, um, when I made ramen uh, many, many years ago on the stream. I tried to do pork. This is the only other time I've, oh no, my stream. Sir, sir, you may still be able to hear me. This might seem a bit weird. Okay, we're back. We back? We're back. Okay. So anyway, the only other time I've ever bought pork belly was because I was making ramen, and um, but the the marinade like cooking process was like a cheat version, and it wasn't nearly as like fully a party as it could have been because I had it was a lot quicker. These are chunks are gonna be a, these chunks are gonna be a lot bigger than I expected. Hi Lugo, bacon are my people. What did you have at the uh, picnic? Did you say it was a picnic? Slight disturbance in the force there. Back to our regular schedule programming. I still haven't made the uh, technical difficulties screen on this cooking layout, though. To be f to be honest, I'm think planning of changing the cooking layout because it's basically been the same with slight alterations since I started streaming five years ago. I think it needs an upgrade. I mean, not really, because for the first year I had a very ugly layout. <laughs> but it's maybe not five years, but it's still been a while. Skewer them and grill them, holy moly. Oh no, it's dropping again! Okay, right, if it keeps dropping, if it keeps dropping, I will go and get my, um, power line box which doesn't seem to be working recently but it's a better option hi mr design yes it's not bacon well i mean 
its pork belly and we're gonna um, chop it into small pieces. I actually kind of like having them this small, but I th this is the size I was supposed to make it, so. Burgers, hot dogs, chips, soda, lots of cheese. Ah, so the regular kind of kind of deal. It said three quarter, did it say three quarter inch or am I imagining that? Let's go and check the recipe before I start making a fool of myself. Yeah, three quarter inch thick pieces. Okay. Drop it like it's hot. Could be bacon. I guess so. Oop, excuse me. Yeah, I've never properly, I don't really get, I don't get pork belly, so I don't get to properly appreciate it. Like, those are big chunks. And they look quite small in the picture. But maybe it was, the bowl was bigger than I expected. Like, yeah, no, I guess they're kind of that big. Maybe, they'll probably shrink a little bit, I guess, so. If I were to get pressure cook again, I think I'd spend the extra money and get the Ninja Food Max 9 in 1. It says a grill in it too. <laughs> Not a Ninja sales rep, are you sure? Ah, uh, no, so how this one's working, this recipe... I should have cut that a bit further over. Um, so how this recipe is working is we blanch it, apparently, just for like a few minutes. And then we're gonna slow cook it, sort of, in a very thick sauce. Um, like over a medium heat for 45 minutes to kind of, I was going to say render it down, but I don't know if that's what we're actually trying to do. We're just kind of cooking it and making it all yum, 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 yum. And while the, uh, that's a technical cookery term, by the way. While the pork is cooking, we're going to also make some sides. So I don't know. I always say this. I don't know how long the stream's going to be today. Um, it could be a really long stream because I could mess up and then have to like fix things. Or it could be a long stream because I talk too much. Or it could be a reasonably short stream because I, these only have to cook for 45 minutes in the sauce. But, um... Honestly, I have extra because I got twice what I needed. So we could... I might just... Not today. I'm probably not on stream, but I might just cook up the rest of it. Just to have it, you know? These are very unevenly sized chunks. <laughs> I think most of them are a good size, but there's a couple of teeny ones, like this one's a bit skinny. <gasps> hippie people guy! Everybody thank hippie people guy. This is uh, the recipe. His recipe. Well, not his recipe, but the one he has suggested. This is why cooking pork belly's cooking time is usually long, regardless of how you cook it. Yes. You got TOS? Did, did, I don't know how you pronounce that. What did, what did you do? What did you do? Did you show a pig's nipple like I just did? Oh my gosh. My stomach just growled. <laughs> You've been fed. I'll have more food in a minute. Now this is literally just the fat. So I'm hoping that'll just get nice and crispy. Nipple. Here's the nipple. <laughs> Brother bought fireball on stream to do shots while we were cooking. You're allowed to have alcohol on Twitch, as long as you're you're set as a mature stream. You're allowed to drink alcohol, right? Because I thought I was allowed to drink alcohol without being a mature stream, but then I found out I wasn't. So luckily, I hadn't. Errant porcupine nip slip. Por porcy nip slip, not porcupine. Um, it's it's in your um settings, like your channel settings. It's like the first page. Um, I think it's on channel. I don't remember. It's in the settings. You'll be able to see it really easily. It just says mature content and you tick a little box. And if you tick it, um, then it says before people go on your stream, this is for mature audiences only. And therefore you're allowed to do things like have alcohol. But I don't have that because I am a PG family friendly stream most of the time. Not last night. We played zombie games. But most of the time I'm a PG stream. So I have it set to not be mature content. So that, because obviously you can watch Twitch from the age of, well, you can have an account on Twitch from the age of 13. So. Oh no, I think Fireball, uh, they think they mean Fireball Whiskey, Luco. <laughs> I 
It was a bit of a nip slip. Hopefully I'm okay. Hello, scroll lol. There we go. We've chopped it all up. It's mostly the same size. There are a few pieces that are a bit smaller, but hopefully they won't burn or anything like that. Ta-da! There's my pork belly all chopped up. I still have half of it left if we do mess up, but hopefully I'll get to just freeze that and uh, have that another day because that'll be a nice little treat. Have some pork belly, but it's in the fridge for now just in case I mess up so badly that we need to use it. And I will get a pan of water on the heat so we can blanch it because that's the first thing we have to do. And then I have my ingredients here. This is all I need and some water for the sauce. Sugar, um, they did say, I think, raw sugar, like an actual thing of sugar. I'll check, but I'm not doing that. But it does say you can use powdered sugar, well, granulated sugar if you, ha if you have it. Um, dark soy sauce and light soy sauce and Shaoxing wine, so. Nature content, yes. My plant focus stream is definitely that. Checks the checkbox, nice. You joke, but I want plant a plant content filter. Is there not already like a a tag for plant stuff? They have so many tags now. Rock sugar, sugar, that's it. Rock sugar. Manure content. <laughs> uh, good. I also, yeah, I'm glad you use granulated. Well, Mr. Design, I mean, do you mean to set up the other cameras in on like your streaming software? Because this took me a while to get set up. And I'm actually planning on changing it because I don't really like it as much as I used to. I don't know what I want to do though. I don't know if I want to just have the camera be big and like simple or if I want to like add stuff to my layout. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Just gonna get some water boiling. And I just realized I turned on the wrong hob. You just hit go live. Oh, do you use um, OBS? Or X Splitter? I can't remember what it's called anymore, the other softwares. Uh, it doesn't say to put salt in it. Okay, cool. I'll just, um, just get a regular pan. Ah, it's pretty easy to, OBS have really made everything very simple now. So it's pretty easy to, to get things set up. Finally getting our Borgo Goose theme content channel. Let's go! <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no more goose. I know space is an issue. I wouldn't see more counter workspace. What do you mean, like. What? Cameras? Some. Um, yeah, so, sorry about the kettle, but like I was saying, I've had this with the, the bar above my head and everything for like several years. In fact, I can tell you how long. Oh, apparently only, oh no, that's because I updated it a little bit. I think it's only been like two, three, two years, three years maybe, but with slight changes here and there as we went along. Um, but I do want to try and work out, because I want all of the same stuff on the screen, like... Maybe not this menu box anymore, but something to show what I'm making. But at the same time, I realize it looks like it can be a little bit cluttered. And I don't use this in my gaming streams anymore, so... I'm working out what I'm doing. Um, I keep going to change it, but it's really awkward to sort it out when I'm not in the kitchen. Because I've got to, like, plug in both the cameras, and then I don't know if I need to, like, move things. Because they're not point- obviously if I'm in my room, they're not pointing at the where they are now. Anyway. That's not important. Um, ooh, ah, uh, just getting some. <gasps> oh, are uh, just getting some nice manure to spread on me fields. An edge is an edge. You only cut it down because it spoils his view. What's Ripper moaning about? Um, I've just seen a really old picture of me. I don't want to. I don't want to see old pictures of myself. I sometimes they sometimes come up and I'm like, please go away. Ooh, yes, please. Yes, please, evil marksman. That sounds great. Alright, let's get this water boiling. The kettle has done its job. Don't worry, I will move the camera. I'm just gonna get this on the heat. Don't really know how much I need, probably not that much. 
get my slotted spoon ready. I don't know how long. It said a couple of minutes. So we might just be able to do it and then pull them out again. Oh, I do need to actually disinfect the counter because I did get some pork on it earlier. So where's my dental? As in the camera further back to see the counter as well. A wider angle view. Ah, I mean, the camera is unfortunately as far back as it can literally get. <laughs> because it, that's the wall <laughs> right there. Or do you mean that camera moves back so you can see the counter? Because that's also almost as far back as it can go. Ow! Because you're in a cupboard right now. Something isn't really feasible. At least not yet. Not in this flat. If we get a new flat. But if we get a new flat, I have to rearrange everything. So... All right, hold on, you're going on an adventure. Going on an adventure. All right, Bilbo. Whoop. Whoop. There you go. Just gonna move some cables. Fish eye lens. I'm not sure that would help. Oh, that light is on, I just wanted to check. waiting for this to come. I don't know if I have to boil it. it. just says, oh yeah, bring a pot of water to the boil. Blanch for a couple of minutes. Oh. Stream's dropping again. There we go. Uh, Evil Marksman in the dinner party channel is where we normally post food, if that's okay. You can also post it in the chat if you want. Either is fine. Um, I like having the person and the work in the same frame with close-ups in the second camera, the second angle. Oh, I see your point, yeah. What I would really like is a is a um a flat with like an island, like a kitchen island, or I guess a kitchen and living room, dining room combo, but that's a bit more awkward for stuff like business stuff. Because you have to kind of have the entire area be cleaned. And it's a lot more awkward if there's like another room. But just something so I've got counter and then I can have the camera away like copper does where you can kind of see what's going on you know okay here look here's a plan we go to Scotland surprise Lara and Joe with a kitchen makeover have them move out for a couple weeks and then surprise them by having done nothing while they've been gone because we're too busy playing video games thanks guys I appreciate it I mean you definitely can't make over my kitchen because I rent it and it wouldn't be allowed let's let's uh, tie this up Come on, buddy. I just need you to boil. I've already got boiling water in you. I've done half the work. Ooh. That's some good looking pork. Look at that. Ooh. Mm. Everyone go check out Discord. That is some tasty looking pork belly. Ha. Ah. It looks really good. Oh, is there more pictures? I will, uh... Scroll. Also, if the stream drops any more, I will go and get my power cable, my power line cable thing. Oh, there are more pictures. Oh, they look good. Unfortunately, we will not have crackling from this pork belly because it is going to be, um, it is going to be blanched instead of words what am i thinking baked like baked or crisped up but i still have more so i can use that just waiting for my water to boil so we're gonna do um cabbage and rice as sides um but i don't know what i want woo, i don't know what i want to do with the cabbage yet um i, pro I was probably just gonna fry it but i might we might do something fancy. It depends kind of how we're doing for time. I only work on a kitchen. I only want a kitchen island because I want to reconnect Survivor Island with food. <laughs> just, I just want to sit on the kitchen island and be like, I am stranded on a desert island on my own. I just think it'd be so useful. It is a little annoying, but you know, you got to work with what you got to work with. I mean, I could stand here and have the camera like there, but that's still not going to be very practical. Like, there's a lot of counter space in this kitchen. Um, 
it's weird because this compared to a lot of my friends kitchens is quite big and compared to other kitchens i've lived in in lived in the kitchen in other flats i've lived in the past this is a big kitchen but then you know like when i had my food inspection when she came round to see the kitchen she kind of made a comment about how small it was and i was like this is pretty big it doesn't look it doesn't look as big as it is on camera um ooh, we went to sky look at you right i think that's good to go that looks like it's boiling so let's pop some pork and then go for like two minutes and see what we think Ooh, hit the camera sorry okay google set me a timer for two minutes please sure two minutes and we're starting now sorry if i set off any of your googles googles there I'm gonna have to. Ah, oh, no! I dropped pork. I'm gonna have to disinfect the counter again. Don't get the nipple in. <laughs> get under that water. You as well, sir. Thank you. Okay, that's the stream is having a time right now. I open this, will that help? Help the Wi-Fi flow through the house. I promise this will be worth it. I know it looks really sad and grey right now. Okay, Google, how much time? 43 seconds remaining. I'm ready to scooch this out. I think I have to clean, like, rinse it. Oh, sorry. rinse it stop I have never made schnitzel no I don't think so anyway I made a lot of stuff over the years I don't remember everything but that doesn't ring a bell oh sir get in there I've got to disinfect that part too Right, um, okay, I think I have to rinse this to stop it cooking, so I'm gonna do that. boiling water to help disinfect the chopping board and I'm gonna take that nipple off because I don't really know what to do with it nipple Back to where you should be. Okay, stream keeps dropping. So I may go and get my uh, power line.
cable, but I'm going to just quickly give everything a little clean first. And I'm going to clean that knife as well so I can put it away. I know, boiled bacon, it looks sad, but it told me to do it. So I'm going with what it says. Right, I'm going to go get my power line cable. I'll be right back. I'm just going to quickly pop this up. Hi, okay. What's going on with the bit boss? Why's it gone? Anyway, we're now plugged in to the cable internet. So hopefully that'll stop it dropping quite so much. But I was just trying to get this tap hot so I could clean my knife. Some nice boiling water. So that's disinfected. Thinking of making Turkish netzels for dinner, but I always have a hard time with one, how much oil I need, and two, the breading sticking. Yeah, I'm not great with breading things. I can still get in a bit of a mess, but um, I mean, if you do the f do flour and then egg and then breading. I think that's the way you do it. And then you can double bread it too. If it's ha if you're having a hard time, you try double breading it. I think that's it. Yep, that looks good to go. Knife is done, nice and clean. Um, oh, way around. Okay, the chopping board has been scolded, so it should be good. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do now is now we're going to put it in the wok with everything but I may pre-measure it all so I can just chuck it in at the same time um yes so recipe says over low heat add the oil and sugar to your wok Melt the sugar slightly and add the pork. Raise the heat to medium and cook until it's lightly browned and then add the ingredients. So I guess I could measure the ingredients while the pork is cooking. Um, oh, it's all just tablespoons. I don't even need that much, apparently. Cool, right, in that case, let's get the tablespoons out. And we're gonna, yes, no, tablespoons. And then we'll get the wok on the heat. Obviously, it would be better if I had gas, a gas stove, st stove top for the wok, because that's obviously you can kind of, it works better, that's what I'm trying to say, but um, I don't, because the flat didn't come with one, so. Where is my bit boss? Why has it vanished? Hey buddy, do you want to come back? There we go. There we are. Wonderful. My bit boss just vanished. Okay, so here's the pork. I stopped it cooking. So now it's just grey. Doesn't look super appealing, but I'm sure it'll look tasty once it's in the wok, which is here. This is my wok. These are my Crocs. This is my walk. Say hello. She's a little bit. She could do with some love, some TLC, but she is seasoned, so we should be fine. Probably use a bit more seasoning, but here she is, my baby. Well, she's not my baby. I rarely ever use her. That's very mean of me, isn't it? Um. See, I'm always saying that my pans and stuff don't sit flat but I think it might actually be my hob because this is sitting flat on the counter just fine like but when I put it on the hob it just wobbled oh no it's okay now I must have just put it on a crumb or something here we go so get a nice bird's eye view of what's going on in that walk Wonderful. Um, let's put the heat back on. So what does it say? Over low heat, 
low heat. That's better. Um, add the oil and sugar to your wok, melt the sugar slightly, and then add the pork. Maybe it's hobbling along. I mean, it is a hob. A hob goblin? <gasps> right. So we have a tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of oil. I should probably do the sugar first so that the spoon isn't wet and I don't have to wash it in between. But I'm going to do the oil first because I don't trust myself not to burn the sugar. So, in fact, I'm going to close this door because it's probably going to make a... It's probably going to get steamy in here at least to start with. One. Two. I actually already have some sugar, but I bought more because this was the end of a bag in this little pot that we use for tea. There we go. Now what am I using to stir? Probably this guy. Yeah, I feel like this guy. Um, right, put everything away. Two cups of water, right, so I need to get my cup, my measuring cup out while this gets warm. This might not actually take as long as I expected. Obviously that's got to cook, but, um, that's probably only going to take, well, it's going to take the time it says it's going to take, which is 45 minutes. But, we've at, because we've got started now, I mean, we've only been live for an hour. It's fine. Is that? No, okay. I thought it was like bringing up the stuff that on the bottom of the pan, but it's, I'm just imagining it. Oh, the butter goblin. <laughs> Oh, I'm the butter goblin. I got some pretty good clips from last night as well um, <laughs> that I will be posting on the Discord later because I sorted it. I did it this morning while I was getting ready for the stream. Yeah, no, because it kind of. The way it looked, the, the, the way it, the liquid's sitting, it looked like it was like bringing up the stuff from the bottom, but it's not. It's just because it's, I'm seeing the bottom through the liquid. Does that make sense? My favorite catchphrase, apparently. Does that make sense? Right. Turn up one. No, that's medium. I'm going to keep on low. You missed out on all of it. Were you sleeping? Oh, I thought so. Well, it was really fun. Um, there were a lot of technical issues at the beginning because the game wouldn't run for me. Everyone else was having a great time, but I couldn't, uh, it kept freezing. But that's one of the clips. So we're just supposed to let this melt a bit. It is getting hot, so I guess we just want the, the, the sugar to combine with the oil. Now, interestingly enough, it said granulated, but I'm using caster sugar, which is actually finer, and it's still not melting yet, so we just got to be patient, you know? Just got to be patient. Oh, there's people outside. They're having an argument. No, I think they're just talking. It's fine. It's fine people having an argument outside. Super nosy.
if you weren't here yesterday, um, we played the new Back for Blood beta. Um, and by we, I mean me and Joe and two of our friends played. And it was really fun. And um, I hope everyone had fun. But it was a really good time. And we got to kill zombies once the game actually worked because the servers were down. Oh, there we go. Now it's melting. It's actually starting to like become liquidy. I don't know if I need to keep stirring it this much, but I am. This is going to be really sweet, but I'm happy with that. That sounds good. That's what I live with. Don't date an actor. Oh, you'll get numb to it eventually. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's also um, Sky's comment last night of me during the day streams. Ooh, nice food. Oh, good vibes. Chill, lo-fi music. Come, like, nice, warm, cozy stream. Me during the night streams, just swearing and killing zombies. I mean, I can't obviously repeat what the full comment was because I can't swear on a PG stream. But um, we got vote. We had we did a vote for whether we should do more zombie killing streams the vote was unanimously yes so i'm just, excuse me i'm just gonna become a back for blood uh streamer full time that's gonna be my um my content now from now on don't worry um if i do i will always mark the streams as not ma as mature content so you have the warning before you watch i don't know if i have to like get it all combined or just let it says to let it melt whoa that is so easy to knock honestly um melt the sugar slightly and then add the pork perfect 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 so i can add it now there is some liquid at the bottom of this i'm going to drain it out there we go okay whoa more liquid than I expected. <laughs> ah, raise the heat to medium and cook it until it's slightly brown. There we go. Seasel. That was a very big seasel, wasn't it? Big seasel. Hoju you like pork? Hello, Hoju! How are you doing? gonna just leave it for a minute yes we're having pork belly but um shanghai style braised pork belly so we're currently doing the like browning of it the searing would you call it searing i guess so and then we're gonna um add all the sauces so i should probably get them ready but it's oh actually yes yeah, so let's open the bottles that would help like get the plastic off so we can just go quickly once it's time to add everything. Oh, as in you've just finished night shift? Oh my god, this is starting to smell great already. So in the pan, we already have um, oil and sugar. So I guess that's going to kind of caramelize it a little bit. Um... We've already blanched them, which is why they look a bit grey. But we're gonna try this out. I'm so excited to try this. I really hope it's tasty because it's really, it seems really simple. So if it's really tasty, then um, it'll be a nice thing that we can have. But however, I have just realized this was supposed to serve four people. This here. Maybe it's really sickly sweet, so it's hard to have a lot. I don't know. I probably shouldn't be moving it this much. Let's stop moving it for a second. 
searing, browning, burning, making charcoal. I'm pretty sure they're all the same. Same difference, really. Like, just how long you cook it. Smells good already. Oof. Lovely, lovely. Lovely jubbly. <sighs> oh, uh, what day is it today? Yes, I think next Tuesday I have my second vaccine, so I won't be able to stream at the normal time. That'll barely serve one. You're right. This is how much it said to do. Now I'm starting to doubt something. Hold on. Hey, thank you so much for the host, Evie Bears. Nope, that is the right amount, according to the recipe. I do have extra, but I also I'm just trying to stir it so all of it gets coated in the in the oil and the sugar. We had stir fry last night and I realized this morning that I had to cook. I had to cook I had to clean the wok cuz I was like, "Oh my god, wait. We normally don't ever use the wok, so I just didn't even think about it, but" Right, it's starting to brown, so maybe it's time to put in the sauce now, do you think? Fully smell vision was a thing. It smells really good. Oh, look at that one. That one looks perfect. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, camera made it look really gray. There we go. Right, I'm going to add the... Uh, I'm gonna add all of the sauces once these are seared a little bit more. Because some of them are still very feely wally, but I also don't want to overcook them. I also don't really want to get covered in scalding hot oil. But you know, win some, lose some. Can't have everything we want. This is also probably the worst utensil I could have picked. Just because I can't actually flip things very easily. Oh, look at that. There we go. That's what we want. Want to give it a chance to get crispy before I cover it in sauce. All right. I'm going to say I'm happy now. So let's get in all the sauces. It's... Um... One, uh, three tablespoons of wine, one tablespoon of each soy sauce. No, half a tablespoon of the dark soy sauce, sorry. And two cups of water. So let's just check I'm in the right spot. Um, turn it back to low. Great. I'm taking it off the heat because... There you go. Because it is going to overcook. Because my hob does not lower the temperature very quickly. So I'm going to add it in now. Uh, in fact, I might put it on the back hob. Just so it's out the way. Nah, nah, we'll put it there so you can watch it. Oh no, I need to put it on the back hob because... I'll turn the back hob on to low. Because once it starts cooking on its own, I'm just going to put it on the back hob. Because it's going to have a lid on it anyway, so you won't be able to see it. So let's just add everything. Um, add the Shaoxing cooking wine just three tablespoons um, one tablespoon of regular soy sauce it doesn't actually say light to be fair it just says soy sauce but I've got light and dark oh don't forget to pull out the ring tab what? What's that? That's a solid single serving. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be more like a side normally. Regular soy sauce. And then half a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. And I got the same brand just so we can kind of keep it consistent, you know? There we go. Oh, dark soy sauce is so much better. And two cups of water. Switch out, rinse out my spoon while I'm here. Keep things clean. That's a lot 
hot water. Okay. We do have to cook it low and slow, so that makes sense. Cover and simmer for 45 minutes. Okay, I'm just going to stir it up. So you can see what it looks like before it goes away. It's going to have to disappear now. You won't be able to see it anymore. I want to add herbs. I'm not going to add herbs. I resist the urge to change the recipe. And when I say I'm putting a lid on it, I'm putting tinfoil on it because I don't own a lid for this wok. I wish that woks and more importantly frying pans came with lids as standard because I can never... There's always recipes that are like, cover your frying pan. And I, and I go, I don't have a lid for my frying pan. What up, baby? <gasps> Is that you done with work? Are you out of work? Sorry, I'm struggling with this tinfoil. It's very loud, probably. Okay, let's try and do this without burning ourselves. And to answer your question, what is up is I am in the process of putting a lid on my wok, which I have purposely used not the non-shiny side so it doesn't shine up in my face. I'm so glad you're done. Sorry, everyone else. I'm just going to have a conversation with my friend for a second. Um, I'm finished. I, I'm on the early shift tomorrow. So, you know, if you, have, you need to hang out any point... Ugh, oh, carrying your colleagues. Well, have a rest now that you're done. Oh, there's a gap there. Alright, so now we have to cook this for 45 minutes on low on the back hob. So it's going to just sit there. 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 Where's my finger? There. For a little while. While um, we work on everything else. So, okay, Google. Okay, Google, set me a timer for 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes, and we're starting now. Okay, Google, set me a timer for 10 minutes. Second timer for 10 minutes, starting now. And that way we can check it in 10 minutes and make sure that it's actually cooking. Yes, yes, all that. How's the recipe going? I think it's going okay. Um, we've blanched the pork belly and we've sort of fried it in sugar and oil to get it browned and now we've put it in with the sauce and it's just gonna cook in the sauce for 45 minutes um, but we have to check it every 10 minutes to stir it and also to make sure it's actually cooking and not burning so I don't know why I rinsed that I'm gonna need that again I don't know what the point of that was um, yes I'm just gonna quickly clean and then we're gonna start doing some vegetables for the side to go with it so it's not on it all on its own. Um, but we can now have a momentary break to say, hi, <laughs> how is everyone doing? There was a bit of a rush there as I tried to get everything in the pan. So I apologize that I wasn't on the chat. Oh, speaking of on the chat, about 90 grams cooked of fatty pork is a portion nutritionally speaking. So it's definitely not four, but maybe three. Yeah, I'm thinking it's uh, supposed to be like a side the recipe because that does not look like it's enough to feed four people like as a main what is this that? hold on i need to pause my music so i can listen to this is that what that says oh Scandisk. my god well, why that tea looks like that Spack. <laughs> spat. Is that supposed to be like spatula? Oh my god, there's so much going on. Holy oh, god. that was pass it on. Oh that my god. So oh my god, they got used up coconut oil. Oh, the Where's wall that? looks so empty. The wall looks so empty in that clip because it's. Because there's no spice rack on the wall. Oh, hydrate or dehydrate. Thank you very much. Also, I will take this opportunity. I know I already mentioned it. But I will take this opportunity to say there are some new redemptions you can use. Well, there's more channel point redemptions, things you can use your points for if you're not saving them up for a recipe, of course. Um, 
but yes, there's some things that you can you can spend points on now. Just little th things I thought would be fun. Uh, one of which doesn't really ap apply right now because it's a, um, a for puzzle games, but um, it's still there. Because I've, I've had a few ideas for things, and I thought, you know what, just what's the worst that can happen? You know. Set me a timer for the end of the universe. Setting a timer two minutes starting now. Oh my god, that's very little warning. Um, I don't know if if you if you somehow had the knowledge that it was going to be the end of the world or the universe, I guess, but maybe more the world in the next like day or something. Who would you tell? Like, if it was something that was potentially preventable, but probably not, like like a meteor strike or something. I guess if it's a meteor strike, you tell NASA, but like. I was thinking, because my first thought was, I need to tell, and my brain went to Neil deGrasse Tyson for some reason. <laughs> I was like, why is that the person I think would be in charge? <laughs> what? So, um, no, you don't wish because, you, oh, hello, why is my camera lower down? Did I knock you at some point? Sorry, guys. Tell everyone to watch the chaos unfold. Just tell people I like. Don't tell the people I don't like. Um, yes, so. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so there's channel point redemptions, that's what I was going to say. There's channel point redemptions that you can do now. There's new ones, including rolling a d20 just for funsies. Um, and there's uh, also my YouTube channel is almost up to date. Not quite, but almost up to date. So if you do want to go and see some more cooking content while I'm not live at any point, my um, YouTube has all of my cooking VODs from this year, except for, I think up until my birthday, because I still have to edit my birthday one onwards. So there's only like four streams missing. But so you can go and watch all the content. It's all there, mostly unedited. Um, I'm just taking a while to, I have to edit the birthday stream because I did, because Joe did swear at one point during it. So I have to cut that out. But yes, so go and go and look at that. Go, go, go do that. If you're not already subscribed, go subscribe. Um, right. Cabbage. What should we do with the cabbage? I would tell no one. Everyone would think I was crazy. Instead, I would start making a quick list of things I need to do before it all becomes meaningless. I mean, that's that's a nice positive way of looking at it. I mean, not really super positive because you said meaningless, but at the same time, it's better than just being like, well, end of the world. Guess I'm not going to do anything. I don't even know what I would do. Like, if I was 100%, I knew with 100% certainty that the world was going to end what would I do? Because like, there's always a part of me that would be like, but is it though? Is this just a prank? Am I going to do some really rubbish stuff and then get stuck with the consequences? Not that I would want to do rubbish stuff, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, steal money from Jeff Bezos and give it to other people or something. I'm still technically correct. You're right. You are technically correct. It is a white cabbage. Um, because I figured that would go well. Oh, I do have spring onions. We could do something with spring onions as well. They're a bit sad. They're getting a bit a bit dried out from the bottom of the fridge, so we need to do something with them quickly. So yes, we're going to take off the, f the top leaves because they're a little sad looking. And we will give it a good wash. Don't worry, don't fret. Um, I've been considering, speaking of veg, also look how flat that is on the top. It's really flat. Um, speaking of veg, I have been considering uh, subscribing to like a wonky veg box and then just using whatever comes in it because I do have a friend who has a um who gets a vegetable box I don't know if it's a wonky veg box but they were like oh I need to use up turnips because they came in the box and I don't know what to do with them and I just think that would be a fun little thing to have vegetables that we would use and then have some like different vegetables that we maybe wouldn't buy ourselves that we can try and figure out what to do with so but I don't know if there's any that are really cost wise going to be better than me just going to the shops and getting vegetables because I know sometimes they can be expensive maybe I would I would make catching up on previous streams of my top priority <laughs> oh that's nice but no you wouldn't <laughs> um, someone bring me caffeine I need help would you like some of my peach flavored um, monster not sponsored you can have some I will give you some I allow it you're one of the you are a person I would allow to have some of my uh, my caffeine, but I love you. Mm. 
can turn this hob off now. I mean, turn off this, the fan. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Um, yeah, so my la the latest one to go live is the pork roast from Food Wars, but I do have um, two more that are scheduled to upload tomorrow and then next Saturday because I have them normally upload every Saturday while I'm not live, so you've got something to watch. Sounds disgusting, but I would generally take it. They do peach flavoured. Yes, yes, it's Monarch. It's this one. It's the one with the butterflies on it. I only recently found out it was peach flavoured because you know how they don't write on it what flavour it is? It's always like, oh, it's the flavour of sunshine and uh, butterflies and stuff. And you're like, I don't know what that means. This one actually says peach and nectarine in it on the side. So they must have peach juice in it because I don't think you're allowed to say it unless you have like the actual juice. I don't know. I don't know what the rule is, but they never usually say. Anyway, this one, you should get it. It's very nice. Um, I don't think it's a sugar-free one though. It is not. It's not sugar-free, so if that makes a difference. I feel blessed. You should be blessed. You should feel blessed. Right, I think we'll go for maybe a quarter of the cabbage. Sorry, I can't. I forget that you're not actually getting a top-down view, so I have to be more careful with where the camera is and what you can see. Oh wait, that actually looks like not very much. Yeah, we'll just use half, because look, it really looks super hollow. And we'll give it a wash once I've chopped it up. Um, and then we'll figure out what to do with it. We'll maybe make a sauce and- HEY! Butterfly flavoured sounds amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for your sec for resubbing for a second month. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Welcome to the spice rack. No, welcome to the spice rack. You're not following. Why did I say that? Thank you. Welcome to the top tier of the spice rack for a second month. Let me put you on the board. I appreciate it. Next time at the shop, I'm at the shop. It's going in my basket. Right. See. So what happened was, I think. I bought it, no I didn't buy it by mistake, somebody else I was with got one, they didn't like it, but I was like, I'd never seen that flavour before, I didn't know that was a flavour, so I got it next time I went to the shop, because it's in the, the, the corner shop nearby, they had it, so I was like, I will get one, and I love peach things, I've gone through a peach things craze recently, I was like, this was mango a while back, but recently I've had a peach beer, and like, a peach other flavour thing, I can't remember what it was, and now I've had that, and it's like, mmm, peach, but also, they do like a non- oh stop stop they do a non-alcoholic Moscow mule drink which is very gingery but surprisingly very nice for someone who doesn't like ginger anyway let's write your name on the board before I forget scroll lol here you go so whenever you sub even if it's not even if it's not in the kitchen your name does go on the board it's just you don't see it going up because it's while I'm offline. Right, so that's been 10 minutes, so now I need to stir the, uh, excuse me, I need to stir the stuff. It doesn't even look, it smells a little bit like it's cooking. Oh no, I can see some steam. Good. Oh yeah, it is cooking. It's got plenty of liquid. It'll be fine. We don't need to replace it yet. Okay, Google. Set me a timer for 10 minutes. Ooh, it smells like bread. That's weird. Why does, it, why does it smell like bread? But speaking of, I did mention this earlier, but um, I'll mention it again. I did see a recipe to make vegan pork belly. I don't have a clue how it would taste, but it's like it's supposed to be the same texture because you've got like a crust at the bread, so like that's like the crackling, then a layer of coconut fat, and then, well, yeah, coconut oil, but like solid. And then uh, a layer of something. I can't remember what it is. I don't know if it's Satan or something else. But I think it would be very interesting to try. But I think it would be a very long process. So I probably wouldn't be able to do it in a stream. Um, I'd probably give you a head pat and ask for my monster back. I think I would like that, honestly. The head pat. Right, let's... I was about to push the cameras if that does anything. Boop. Um, I don't know what I want to do with this yet. But I do want to try and make it tasty and not just like plain cabbage. Not that there's anything wrong with plain cabbage. I do like I do like cabbage. I don't know if this makes sense to you, but I've said this to a couple of people and people don't always understand what I mean. But cabbage, I was always kind of 
sold to me as a terrible food, like really disgusting. Because like when you're a kid, like people, the stories would talk about, you know, people smelling of cabbage and, and, and Ugh, yuck, they fed me a cabbage pie or whatever. And I'd always be like, oh, cabbage must be, disgust must be disgusting. But it's not, it's not that bad. I do have a recipe for um, like a fancy coleslaw in a book, in the um, Plenty More cookbook that I got for my birthday. But fortunately it's lots of uncooked stuff so I couldn't serve it for, with this. I have to figure out a way to do what so something I can do with these while being cooked. So no raw cabbage, please. <gasps> Head pats. Got to be Joe head pat, but his hair is too nice to mess up, and I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Maybe if the world was coming to an end, and I was the only one with you, <laughs> you would come all the way over to Scotland and go, and then run away. I do like cabbage. I never saw the pe reason people didn't like it. Yeah, I, I like cabbage. Um, my dad used to make this really nice, um, like orange cabbage with Christmas dinner. Oh my gosh, look at this tiny little leaf. Look how cute it is. This tiny little leaf. Oh. Um, used to make like an orange flavored cabbage thing not like super sweet like orange juice or anything it was just like slightly flavored um which i think is amazing and i would put i would make this like balsamic cabbage but i think that might be a bit too much with the richness of the sauce that's going on the pork belly so i need to figure out something light to do with this but while still cooking it because i can't leave it uncooked un uncooked because then joe can't eat it so should i just roughly chop this again yeah, I'm gonna. I actually love cabbage. I never prepare it for myself, but my mom makes it it's super yummy. Oh, wonderful. I've just had a thought that would be cute. Imagine if I gave you guys homework. Like, night. Wait, wait, just wait. I mean, nice homework. Like, um, this week, ask someone what their favorite recipe is. Just ask someone. Hi, Che Che Raptor. How you doing? Cabbage possession is nine tenths of the slaw. You know what? You know what? You get you get a good sound for that if it wants to play. There we go. That was for you. I work at my age. Um, cabbage and kale in Brussels and other relations does have bitterance that you taste a lot more as a kid. I guess maybe that's why like kids stories talk about how bitter they are and, and well not how bitter they are but how disgusting it is and stuff. And that's why um, I think I've cut this down to a decent size. Oh, I need to clean it. I almost forgot to clean it after saying it like four times that I was going to do it. I almost forgot to do it. Where's my sieve? There it is. Just gonna, I'm just going to rinse it through, but just to get rid of anything that was on it. Because I haven't, didn't clean it before I cut it. So, And then we need to figure out what we want to do with it. What we want to add to it. We could just cook it as it is. Or add some like... I don't really have any fruit. Like orange. I don't have any citrus. Um, but I feel like it needs something because the sauce is going to be very sticky and sweet. So I want to add something different to it. So no balsamic or anything like that. Maybe add some sort of vinaigrette. Oh, yes. Um, but no, I have to cook it, unfortunately. I mean, I don't have to. I could just have it raw. But I feel like that would not be very fair on poor Joe. After he's had such a busy day, he's at work right now. Whoop! Okay, we lost a bit of cabbage. I was too uh, vigorous while I was tossing the salad. And a little bit fell out. Looking gorgeous as ever. Oh! Oh! taking a break i'm doing a marathon oh, i just read that as i'm doing a marathon and i was like what and you're watching twitch when you take a break that's so sweet but you're doing a marathon of the Eva evangelion movies Ooh, i don't think i've ever seen any of the evangelion movies i don't think i've ever ever seen any evangelion no that's not true i've definitely seen some but i don't know if it was just one episode or one of the movies i don't remember you got any ginger and sesame oil i do have sesame oil i'm gonna check the fridge i might have ginger
Oh, I have, I might have, I think I have a squeezy tube of ginger. Hold on. I do. I have a squeezy tube of ginger. Because I never use fresh ginger enough. So I have that on hand. Is that your suggestion? So just to like fry it. So we don't need to do it yet anyway, because we've got loads of time on this pork. And I'm going to do some rice. Just regular rice, nothing exciting. I mean, I'll add some sushi seasoning, because I always do, because rice is super boring on its own. I always add something. Um, oh, we could cut up some... I might cut up some of the green onion. The green onion? What? Green onion? Where? Who am I? Spring onion, and put it on top of the pork when it's done. Fried hot with ginger and sesame and soy. Yes. Okay, we'll do that. We can't do it now because we've got too long to wait before um, before the pork is done. So we gotta we gotta time ourselves to make sure we do it right. But let me get out all the stuff that you just said so I can put it there and remind myself what I'm doing. Sesame oil. Good sesame oil because the last one we bought tasted really yuck. So it's in the back of the cupboard, not being used because it tastes disgusting. <laughs> okay. Plan. Good. We have a plan for the cabbage. Um, I only, I've only really had pork belly once that I can remember. And it was uh, when I, when I bought it, the last time I bought it and the last time I cooked it um, for having, making for ramen. And it wasn't that great because I didn't cook it for long enough. Sorry for the long recipe with not much going on. Don't worry, I knew it was going to be a long recipe. Um, I did have a backup plan, and we may be putting that into fruition right now. It's called banana loaf. Banana bread. Um, I think I have everything for it. It's very simple, so I should do. Um, we can just make some banana bread while we wait. Because it's not actually too hot of a day today to have the oven on. But I will first check... The timer. Okay, Google. How much time? You have two timers. The ten minute timer is running with one minute and twenty one. I'm gonna check it now. And the forty five minute timer is running with twenty five minutes and ten seconds. We're gonna check. Um, okay, Google. Reset the ten minute timer. Okay. Woo! Resetting the ten minute one with one minute and two seconds left. Starting now. Mm, look at all that pork fat coming to well, all that probably the impurities that I was supposed to cook out, but probably, maybe I didn't manage. It's definitely cooking, because look at all that steam, so You have to turn the AC on. Ugh. I must be warm. Unfortunately, when it is hot here, I just have to deal with it because we don't have AC. I just have to open a window and hope that it just, I don't get infested with bugs. Right, before we get the bread started, I know I just did a plug for my YouTube, but if you have a recipe that you want me to make, you can uh, suggest it by using your channel points down below, down below of the chat, I don't know why I'm saying down below there, down below over there, um, or down below there if you're on mobile, I guess, um, use your channel points to suggest a recipe and then I have to make it, though I will refund you if it is something that I am not going to be able to make. Um, or if you just want to share recipes, you can go to our Discord because we have a recipe channel and you can just post whatever you want in there. We have a bunch of really interesting things in there at the moment, actually. One of which is um, basically an incredibly in-depth guide on how to make ice cream. I mean, it's braised pork, so it definitely has some similarities. I do love some carnitas. I've not had carnitas. See, I've not had a lot of stuff. I always feel like I've had a lot of food, but there's a lot of stuff I've never tried. There's a lot of stuff I haven't done. Alexander Hamilton. Um, <laughs> let's get out a bowl. Let's make some banana loaf. I'm gonna make an old man noise as I kneel down because my knees hate me. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> that was a struggle. I 
very well used um, loaf tin. It looks okay from the outside, but the inside is very scratched. Um, and a bowl to mix things in. And I will have to go and get my recipe book because it's in my, excuse you, thank you, room. Ugh, Christ. It's a big, wonderful world of food and my goal is to eat all of it. All of it, all of the food in the world. Share some, like leave some for the rest of us. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna quickly go and grab my book that has my recipe in it. Be right back. I know I've left like so many times. Pachow. Hey, Golden. Golden? Golden. Where is it? Where is it? Where is she? There we go. Do I have everything? Yes, I do. We're good to go. We are good to go. Hello, Golden One. So, quick recap, because I just had it paused for a second. Um, the pork belly is currently in the braising stage it is sitting there in my hob and in my hob in my wok on the hob with a lid on it um and we're checking it every 10 minutes and because we have to wait uh for 45 minutes for this to be done this bowl is covered in flour um eight hours total oh that's not bad i thought it might be longer than that get in my belly well it's not cooked yet well, it's probably cooked by now, but it's not, like, finished. Um, because we're waiting for that, we are going to make some banana bread. Because I bought bananas to make it, so we're doing it. I need to melt some butter. I mustn't forget. Got some very smooshy, but, oh, hello. Oh, okay, that banana is going in the bin. It is moldy. It was very squishy before. It is moldy. It's going in the bin. And you, ugh, getting out of my kitchen flies. I hate flies. Banan? Banan. Give banan. I don't think I got it. Unfortunately. Brief interlude. Don't mind me, not not doing anything to oh, it's gone too high, I'm too short. I'm trying to get this fly. That's why I don't have my windows open. Well, whatever, it's fine. Ha! I got one. Oh no, it's still alive. It didn't die when I squished it. <laughs> I got it. That one's dead. Yuck. Good. I'm normally nice to creatures, but I cannot stand flies. Anyway, let's, uh, you're almost at four hours. Okay, you're doing well. Are you doing it on your own? You got a, a partner in, in crime for your marathoning. Right. Oh no, what am I doing? That's the wrong recipe. I need to melt some butter. So let's get that going. I do have butter. I just like, oh my god, I just remembered I, didn't, I don't think I've had butter for weeks and then I got you to get me butter, so it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Don't worry, everyone. I can see you're worrying, but you don't need to. Everything's fine. We have Muller butter. Interesting. Must have been the only one. We have been having a bit of shortages recently for um, just essentials, actually. I love all of Earth's creatures, except for, goes on a rant, 15 minute rant about all the insects and murderous beasts that he doesn't like. 
really don't like. I don't like flies and I don't like moths. But I think it's just because they're... I don't like them flying into my face. It's, it's, it freaks me out. Anyway. Now that that's sorted. Let's... I'm also, by the way, finding stuff for myself to do because I can feel that I'm starting to get tired. And I need to... Like, mentally tired, not physically tired. So I need to keep doing stuff so that I don't just go oof. You know? Oh! I think the boy is, is, uh, is home. Can you please change units? There we go. I didn't want to. Maybe we should have taken this out earlier. A moth nearly flew into my face last week at work. It's been hiding in my UV lamp. Oh my god. I mean, I guess that's a... They would want to, wouldn't they? Okay, I can definitely hear that simmering now. So I'm glad. It just took a while. We just don't want it to overcook. In that sauce. I wish I had an, a gas hob. It would be so much easier to control. Okay, there we go. Oof. Oh, our butts need to be charging. Get in here. Get in here. He would, he would offer to take over as well. Even though he's just been away. He's had a long day. He's been working hard. Every night and day. And I really get 10 minutes of sleep. Booby dooby doo. Whatever those words are. <laughs> right, this needs to melt. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for. That's gonna need more than 40 seconds, but that's a good starting point. And then we just have to mix everything together and put it in the tin. There's not really much extra stuff to go. This is my recipe, it's the one I use. So, you know, might be different for you. Hello! Serious look. Hello, you okay? Stop! Right, time to stir. I'll just do this without showing you. Are you annoyed about that? Whoosh! Okay, Google, set me a timer for 10 minutes. People guy, wasn't it him? How are you doing, honey? No stuff not going okay. Can I get yes, of course you can. Honey. Does Joe need some virtual hugs? Chat is also giving you a panel. Do you want me to mute my mic for a bit? BRB on, okay? Won't be long. Wait, where's my BRB button? Won't be long. Hello! Hi. Welcome back. Thank you so much for waiting there. Joe just had a really bad day at work today and he needed to just have a little bit of a, of a, of a rant and a little bit of a chat. So he's, uh, he's done that. He's talked to me through... He's talked through a few things with me. So... We've had a bit of a chat now, but um, while we were gone, I did have to stir, stir the stuff. Um, but everything's okay. I mean, it's not, but it's uh, it's nothing that can be sorted right now. So please don't worry too much. Let's get on with, uh, that smells amazing, but let's get on with making some banana loaf while we wait, because never mind, time to stir. Stop. Uh, just wet fly is missing and he hasn't been able to find it anywhere in the flat. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, it's one of those bad days. Whoa. Yeah. Obviously stuff I, I, I probably can't I won't talk about it and I probably couldn't even if I wanted to. But um let's give you guys sorry I've got to move things around my counter a little bit. Let's give you guys a better view of the park. There you go. This 
is it? Okay, Google. Set me a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, Google. How much time are on my timers? Oh! Alright. What we'll do is we'll run the, uh, run it until it's been another 10 minutes because we're almost good to go, which means that we could almost actually, oh no, we should probably just, I've melted the butter, but we should probably just get on with, um, making the vegetables now because that's not going to be much longer before the pork's done. Ah! Okay. Scrap the banana loaf for now. I will, I will make it because I've already melted the butter, so I'll make it later. Um, but for now we have to, we have to vegetable. Vegetable. Ooh, nice. Fancy shirts. Everything is temporary. This too shall pass. You shall, you shall not pass. Oh wait, I think my quote engine. <laughs> I think it went wrong. It took positive message and just kind of ran with it. I have to find some polos. Mm. I didn't actually use that fork. And it's time to get out the frying pan. And also do some rice. I think the rice... No, the frying pan will take longer because it'll have to heat up. Stop dropping signal. I'm going to get you. Right. But yes, send some, uh, some love emojis in the chat for... With my towel, oh, there it is. For Joe having a bit of a rough day. It's just a bad situation at work. Fortunately, it's not just not just today. It will continue, which is sucks. But wait, I don't need to put it on a hob. What am I doing? Um. Yes. Okay. I'll get the induction hob set up. Oh, I'm all I'm all flustered now. Get the induction hob set up. I will get the cabbage on then I'll then I'll clean the rice put that in I mean actually the rice is gonna take long because rice takes 15 minutes let's get the rice started actually I'm jumping all over the place sorry sorry everyone thank you very much for all of that oh my gosh look at that look at those rainbow look at all those flags all the love all of the love thank you very much I'll let him know that you were sending all the love. Okay. Rice cooker. Ooh, I could put spring onions in it. No, that might be a bit weird. We'll just do regular rice. Nothing super fancy. I'll just add seasonings at the end. And I will clean it as well. So I'm in a bit of a rush now. A little bit little bit of a rush but we should be fine because we can we have still have to cook down the uh the porks the sauce around the pork and that'll take 15 minutes getting a quote for you <laughs> stop from uh geico thank you i couldn't actually read that to start with he's love and hype no stop it stop it no it's the old hype what have I done? What have I done? See, I tried to say Geico in my head and my brain turned it into those adverts for the Igo by Tio Tio Toyota? Was it Igo? Was that what it's called? Um, but it was like a car. But it used to sponsor Channel 4. Or was it E4? So in my head, anytime I even hear anything remotely similar, my brain goes, I go by Toyota. Sponsors, T4. It's like Pavlovian. Is that the right word? My signal is still dropping like crazy, but... Washing machine, the phone, do the cow gong. What is going on? Every time I come back to the stream, it's gone red. Stop it. Yeah, I go. No, you go. Oh, okay. Bye. I leave now.
Sorry, I just spaced. I was just spacing out there. Cleaning this rice. It's gonna take a little bit of time for us to cook down the the sauce for the pork. So we shouldn't be in too much of a rush. But I think we might actually the stream might finish early. What? A stream not take six billion hours? A stream of mine? A cooking stream of mine, more to the point. Someone say play more back for blood? <laughs> Fro Froderick? What? Igor? No, it's pronounced Ego. I feel like this is a reference I don't get. In fact, I don't know why I said I feel like this is a reference I don't get. My brain wants to say Young Frankenstein, but I don't think that's right. Hey, hun. Rice is on, and it's time to get frying. There's um the thing on the bottom is macaroni cheese with the tin foil on it, and there's also the noodles from last night. Oh good. No no no, go for it. Chat says hello. Do you need me to get it? <laughs> and the uh, they sent lots and lots of love emojis and hearts. And they they're very they're sympathetic. I didn't obviously tell them anything about what it was. I just said you had a bad day, and stuff was going wrong at work. You can smell it. Oh, apparently your cologne is intoxicating. <laughs> All I'll say on how I'm feeling is. As if an older straight white male tries to force his opinion on anyone, tell him he's being a dick. Stand up for yourself, stand up for people that you love and care for, and don't tolerate any, any semblance of bigotry. At all. And try and change people's viewpoint, because for the love of God, we can't keep going on this way. <laughs> wow. I mean, I obviously stand by that. Um, he does still need hugs. He will get lots of hugs and, um, well, tasty pork belly and the set the beginnings of banana loaf. But then I but then I had to get back to cooking because the timer ran out. Ugh. Oh no! Oh dear! Oh dear! Yeah, it's just too much stuff in the way. There we go. I'm okay, thank you. Chat says good message and are giving you lots of cuddles. Go over there. Need to go through that stuff. As an older white guy, I have an opinion about this that I'm sure is not necessary. <laughs> See, you're one of the good ones, head people guy. I mean, you gave me pork belly recipes, so you have to be one of the good ones. Some tasty Joe belly. Ooh, yum yum. <laughs> oh, actually, I did accidentally break TOS earlier. Oh. Um, I showed a nipple. Is that a nipple? Came on the pork belly. Is that an actual nipple? It's a pig nipple. <laughs> oh my god. I can check it out now. I was only keeping it yeah. to show you. <laughs> Little nipple. Lara, when the chat said get your tits out, I was like, <laughs> Hey, Lani. Hey, don't be so rude. People are stupid, period. Call them out on their stupidity whenever you see it, or otherwise it becomes normal. Exactly. We as a channel do not tolerate any of this gubbins. But also... Just love each other. It's not that hard. And if something makes people upset, don't say it. Oh, that is for the pork belly. Stop! There was also a fight on the train on the way home as well. There was a fight on the train? A fight on the train. Oh my god. Um, day sucks, man. Today's not been a good day. Um, 
Yeah, I had a there was a there was a nipple on the pork belly that I got. A teat. A teat, exactly. Um hold on, I'm missing some stuff. Hi Sketchy Ta da There we go, I need to check if it's fork tender. Oh that macaroni and cheese smells good. Hmm I don't know. It doesn't feel fork tender to me. I think it needs longer. It was on very low heat to start with. So, yeah, I think it needs more. Okay, Google. Send me a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. And that's starting now. So we're going to just switch you back to the frying pan cam. There you go. Easy enough to switch between the two. Wonderful. Yeah, I will eat and fits it best, Max. Yep, exactly. It's not difficult. Man. You'd think. You'd think. Whoa. Whoa. What about the he chose to release nipple on stream while playing it takes two? He has done that. The internet loves my nipple. <laughs> Right. So, if you've just joined us, we have pork belly that is braising um, over on the wok. In the wok. Um, we've got rice cooking to go with it, and we're just about to cook some sesame ginger cabbage to serve with it as well. Get the ginger over. Um, the pork belly shouldn't take too much longer. It was supposed to be done by now, but that's why. so that's why I'm starring everything. But um, we might just cook the cabbage really low. And slow... Back to homeworking from next Monday. I miss being around co-workers a bit, but I definitely won't miss the 8.30 starts. Why are you going back to uh, homeworking, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, hi. Oh, hi, you go. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Did I say that I was cooking that pork over Loki? Yes. Loki's actually just sitting underneath it going, <sighs> breathing on it, trying to make it. Crock and egg and cook it on anyone. Tom Hill's chest is starting to <laughs> Yeah. Should be good to go. I'm not saying it's good looking, but if I had to do a kissing scene with him, I would uh, certainly ask for multiple attempts. I am, I am saying he's good looking. Oh wow, oh my! Well, is that my birthday present? <laughs> it's my birthday present. <laughs> You're making some slow gin lapsing. Ooh, interesting. We're doing, they're doing the cabbage now. that boil it does look like it says it's that boil but he's not a boil he's a boyo there we go just chuck some ginger in there Ooh, that smells good already now that cooked down Your butt smells good. thank you no oh, thank you <laughs> it smells good even though it's stinky oh, ah. mm. a bit dried out now Meeting in the office this week was a one-off occasion for a bit of consolidation to help build confidence and such. We definitely aren't in a position to go back full-time yet because the nature of the environment made high exposure. Ah, okay. That makes sense. High exposure is my favourite way to take photographs. If you prod him too hard, he might pop. I don't want him to pop. I'm under a lot of pressure right now, Ego. I might do. You might turn into a diamond. Because of the pressure. That is not true. I wouldn't. Hi I would hit you harder, but I don't want to hurt you because you're feeling sad. All right. I'm too strong. That's not true. Don't feel thing there. Like you can't. You may not be able to hear him, but he said there's nothing valuable about him, and I would like everyone in the chat to get cross at him for saying that. See, 
You're already a diamond. You're brilliant and multifaceted. If you get Chat's saying so. If you get across me, it's considered brilliant. It's trying to defund the arts. It's trying to defund the arts. Yeah, you can't get mad at me. Yes, we can. Ah. Can. I'll accuse you of defunding the arts. I have to pop off a bit, maybe back soon, but in case I'm not, have a great rest of your stream. Okay, Dottie, thank you so much for hanging out. It's so nice to see your positive, um, well, it's not your face, but your your positive handle. Um, handle in chat. Just your energy, your essence. Thank you for having an essence. Herbal essences. Nothing valuable. Hush, Joe, you daft man. There's plenty to value about you. Thank you. See? See? People are getting cross at you for being mean about yourself. You know what, I've got stuck in my head, and I occasionally get stuck in my head. Do you remember the theme song for the Venus um, women's razors? Yeah. That. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. I mean, it is also a song. I know. Um, okay, Mox has a message for you. According to Times, Stanford economist Steph Stefanos Zinios, nice name, and colleagues have demonstrated that the average value of a year of quality human life is about $129,000. It concludes that the grand total of material costs for a typical human body is a meager $160. The result, theoretically, is your body is worth up to $45 million. So you're, saying so you're not I, worthless. So you're selling, saying if I sell my body... No, stop. I uh, can get $45 million. I don't, I don't think um, that was what they were saying, no. But, okay. I mean, that would be you set for, for life, wouldn't it? Please don't do that. Also, stop saying sell my body. It means two different things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I made that face. I'm not, I'm not selling, I'm not like, you know, selling my body. I mean, like, manual, manual selling labor. my body. Yeah. Um, uh, Sketchy has redeemed a mental health break for you. Thank you, Sketchy. So I will now do a mental health break for everyone while the food cooks loudly. Hello. This is your scheduled mental health break from me to you. I would like to take this time to remind you if you are sitting in a chair and can and are able to to get up, have a stretch, maybe 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 wiggle your legs a little bit. I'm showing you what to do, but you can't actually see my legs. Um, you know, do a little, little stretch one of these to the side, other side, hold them 15 seconds. Deep breath in. You have to do this too. You got to do the deep breath. Come here. Deep breath in. And out. We're not doing it. Oh, yeah. oh. In. And out. There. That's your mental health break. It's also for the chat, but you're welcome. Did Joe say that he's a brilliant, good-looking mastermind? Because he is. See, no one's putting up with this with this nonsense. Mastermind, yes. Brilliant. Yes. Also, yes. There you go. There's the confidence. It needs dragon's breath. Ooh. Meant to do positive affirmation. Okay, I'll also give him a positive affirmation as well. Let's see what we got. My challenges help me grow. There you go. That's one for you. I'm done enough growing. I'm tall. I'm tall already. That's enough slices. That's enough slices. <laughs> that is what you did, yeah. yeah. I'm not, you know... Sorry, my body. <laughs> I mean, Are you willing to rent it for a bit? I'd run out of my body. Christ. I 
I mean, that's technically. Oh, let's let's stop. We're getting too far into non-PG categories here. That was a lovely affirmation. Good. Lasagna. It looks disgusting. All lasagna. I find it amazing that you have got at least 122 quarts. Oh yeah. There's. I mean, I'm surprised there's not more, considering how long I've been streaming. No, there is more. No, I mean more than. Oh no, that's yeah. It's time to get sticky. <laughs> God, that was loud. <laughs> That's the last one, but I don't actually know what number that is. He's all grown up. He's a big boy. I don't want to be. I want to go back to being small. And all you cared about was... Spinning and eating yogurt. Yes. Needs to cook off way more water. I'm going to add some salt. Stop! Alright, that's the... I'm going to stop it there because I don't want to overdo it. Sorry, you okay? You my Thomas hate me. Oh god. There you go. That's another that's a you quote. Yeah. Ooh, that chocolate melting good. Like velvety chocolate goodness. How do I know if it's fork tender? Is it if my fork goes like right through or So what are you making? I'm making Shanghai style braised pork belly. That's what this is. So once this is uh, done becoming fork tender, which I'm actually going to turn the heat back on for, I then cook it down until it's sticky. So it's got sticky sauce. And we're having cabbage and I'm rice. Ah. I'm off to LARP in September and I'm making a frog costume. I don't need any more explanation. Don't worry. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Um, I'm taking the abilities moist and ew, slimy. What system is this LARP? <laughs> I'm so intrigued. I want this to be more crispy, but there's still some soggy bits. I, want a bit of salt. I already have. I'm gonna swoop. We're gonna turn this round. And you guys can have a look see. Can you switch it to the counter cam, please? Hmm. Gotta skim off that scum. Gotta skim off that scum. I like it scummy. I feel like it's kind of fork tender. It's time to reduce, reduce, reduce. Okay, we're gonna just um put that heat on then. Mm. This cabbage be. That was so quiet. <laughs> right. this, this is starting to uh, burn. Yep, yeah, that's where we're gonna stop it. Moo! And Moo, apparently. I'm going. To go and be sad? I'm going. Okay, he's going. Bye. He's gone. He was going, now he's gone. Now I want to be a disgusting swamp dweller. She sells poison on the sly, yes. Oh, you guys are so cute. I just love reading the chat sometimes. Right, we're going to reduce this down now. Until it gets sticky. But we've made the side dishes. Language? I don't know. I didn't actually say anything. I just realized I've got to do my... Oh yes. You can do it. It won't be hard. You always do it really quickly. I'm sorry, beans. Tasty food coming soon though. It might make you feel better. Oh. I even had a caramel wafer earlier and it didn't help. It didn't help. It didn't help. Cheer me up. How? By doing a little dance. Okay. <laughs> Does that work? Good. <laughs> Bye, Joff. Hi, Joff. 
Moist lets me ignore the first three hits from a fire spell. And Slimy lets me resist being grappled. Ooh, I guess that makes sense. Hold on. Can you, can you let me stand up a bit more? There we go. I was really uncomfortable. You can cuddle me again. You have got a nice face. Thank you, honey. You've got a nice face, too. I love you. Love you, Mike. Right, we're turning up this boy. Turn up the heat. Pump up the volume. And we're gonna cook that down. And while we wait, we're gonna get back to our original plan, because that's gonna take a few minutes. Of smushing some bananas. I'm also vulnerable to fire, so any fire damage I take after I run out of moisture points puts me on bleed count. Oh no, that sounds bad. Okay, so. We're going to try and do a speed run. Squishy bit. That's fine. Squishy bits are, are fine. It's banana loaf. I thought my music had stopped. We're good. Everyone else was like, let's make interesting rounded characters. I was like, I'm gonna make froggy boy. Frog boy. I don't blame you. I love the idea of being a frog boy. That sounds amazing. How, how, like, how froggy is your costume? Are you like... Like a, a, just a frog who stands on, oh, like like a like a, a grung, or are you? Uh, are we talking like you just got a frog hat? Like what's happening? There are also three people playing. Mu oh, I'm so jealous! I'd love to play a mushroom folk. All right, that is simmering. So we're gonna try and do this as quick as we can, so that you can I can go back to showing you the. You may not get to see, you won't get to see the end result of this banana loaf, by the way. Um, but just imagine it looks really good, okay? Just imagine it's a really good. Jeremy Fisher? Would what? Would what what? So just picture like a banana loaf you've had before that was nice. That's what it looks like. Because it's going to take an hour to bake, so I won't be able to show you it done. But I want to get it started. Actually, let's just, let's switch to this. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, you people guy. I'll post a picture in the Discord when it's done. Though it'll just look like a rig. Unless it just collapses, which is what happened to my last one. Whoa. Oh my god. This hand, this like, this pan is so light. It's not light, it's quite a heavy duty pan. But for some reason it spins so easily. I guess there's no grip on the bottom of the pan, maybe? So like, nudging it even slightly just makes it spin and I always think it's gonna fall off. Big ol' frog mask, yes! The last few times I've made banana loaf, it failed. Um, like it sunk in the middle and I don't know what I did differently. I think I maybe added too much banana and it was too wet and it couldn't, didn't cook through. But I have learned from my mistakes, I hope, and we're going to attempt to make it anyway. So, bananas are smushed. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm, I thought you'd rather watch this. Um, so we got bananas smush, and then we're going to mix in this bowl of no longer sco horribly, horribly hot butter. Spin! You know what you said about the loaf in Discord, unless it just collapses. It's pretty much what I was going to say about my frog helmet. Oh, cool! Including the collapsing part? <laughs> and then we need one and a half cups of flour. I could just use the cup, but I'm going to use the weight measurement instead. This is very liquidy. Like, super liquidy. 
It's gonna take a while to cook down. I hope it doesn't overcook the pork. Right, flour. Ah, I figured that's what you were meaning, or something along those lines. I just couldn't get willpower to make sense, so I just skipped over that bit. Right, the rice is done as well. Oh my goodness, everything's happening at once. But we're going to get um, this done first. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, I made a mess. God's sake. Whoop. I've never overcooked the pork on this. I'm not 100% sure it's possible. Wonderful. Wonderful. Like, this recipe is so good because this recipe, not the pork recipe, but this recipe, the one I'm doing right now, is so good because you just literally just dump things in one at a time and mix them. And it's not one of those don't add wet ingredients for, like, don't mix the wet ingredients too much because it'll get stodgy. It's just like, nope, just do whatever you want. Mix it in. Make it nice. And spill flour everywhere. <gasps> oh my goodness. Ah! Hello! so much for the raid thank you for that follow teeterboo as well hello makes it real good ah raid hello 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 welcome to my stream um i mean you all know who i am star probably introduced me but hello star fam it's so lovely to see you um i am lara hello i am a cooking and variety streamer i'm currently making two things at once let me show you the more exciting thing Ooh, ooh! look at that you know what that is? That's pork belly. It's pork belly, baby. And that look good. Um, I'm asleep, but we spin a few. <gasps> you finished Spirit Fair. Oh no, I hope you didn't cry too much. Okay, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. I understand. This seems like a lot of flour. But it's okay, because we have yet to add the egg. Um, let's get rid as I'm wrapping up. I'm not wrapping up this time. It's okay. But hello, everyone. Welcome into my stream. Um, if I have... Actually, no, you know what? I can type it, because I'm right here. Love you, okay, bye. Bye, Star, I love you too. Have a good sleep. Get some sleep. Sleep off those emotions from Spirit Fair. Oh my goodness. Um, I know why this looks wrong, this, bu this banana loaf. It's because I always add the flour at the end because I always forget to add it. That's why. But hi. Hello. Welcome to my stream. Hi. How's it going? Um, we're making Shanghai style pork belly braised pork belly um which is just currently cooking down the sauce is cooking down we've made cabbage and we've made some rice that i need to season but in the interim while i was waiting for things to cook i decided i'd make a banana loaf but now i'm panicking because i have no time to make the banana loaf as well as everything else so i'm having to make it very fast so please excuse me while i do that but um feel free to drop a follow if you want to stick around i do cooking every friday and i do gaming through the week we play puzzle games yesterday we played a zombie game which was super fun by a zombie game i mean back for blood it was a great time we're going to play more of it, don't worry. But it is lovely to see you, it is lovely to meet you, and I hope that you stick around. Right, sugar. We need sugar. Oh, I also will say, I am also a PG streamer. Unless I'm playing zombie games. And then I'm not. Right. Braised pork loaf. Mmm. Yes, let's not mix them together, perhaps. But hello, Chocobo, and hello, everyone else. I'm sorry, I can't thank say hello to you all individually. Um, right now, that's not going to be enough. We need more sugar. Ooh. It's very warm in here because the oven is on. And the hob is on. And everything is getting sticky. It's time to get sticky. Perfect quote, actually. Let's not mix them. Unless... 128 grams. But I hope you enjoyed Star's stream. Oh, of course. Hold on. Boop. There we go. I actually didn't do that when she came in. I'm so sorry. Right. I know you can't see me measuring, but that's more interesting. Trust me. There's a lot of sugar in this recipe. Oh, the recipe for the pork belly, if anyone wants it. There you go. But I am not doing that right now. I'm waiting for it to get sticky and gorgeous. 
yes, unless I'm playing a zombie game, which is like the opposite, because I do I do swear a lot when I play zombie games. So if you're here for that, go ahead. Alright, this is very thick. I need to add I need to add an egg. We need to add an egg. This banana loaf mixture is too thick. Let me get an egg. Which we got for free, by the way. Oh, it's tiny! Don't want the tiny egg. Tiny egg can be used later. Hey. Woo! Switch you around again. Egg. That's a very small yolk. Alright, so what do we still have to do? I've still got to mix the rest of the loaf. Um, I need to finish cooking down the pork. I need to season the rice. But I think we should be good. I'm, I should not be using a spatula. This is de terrible. Not working. Spoon. Need a spoon. But yeah, we played um, the Back for Blood beta yesterday, last night, with some chums. That's more like it. That's what I need. And um, and it was a really fun time. So I would recommend if you're thinking about playing it, you should. It's only available until Sunday. Um, so really do go and play it. Back for Blood. It's a zombie game. It's basically if you like Left 4 Dead. It's exactly. It's not exactly the same as Left 4 Dead. But it's close. Eyeballing it. Teaspoon. And I have to eyeball this as well. So I don't have time to get my spoons out. Actually, no. no eyeball this. Bye, carb. In it goes. That looks like a teaspoon. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me on the butt. That I didn't actually measure that. Look at this high octane caffeinated. That's it. That's it mixed together. It's ready to go in the oven. I was worried there. I saw like a lump of something and then I realized it's part of the banana. So we're all good. So let's get that ready. High octane. Go, go, go. But how's everyone doing? How's your day been? I promise I'm not always this hectic and rushed. But uh, Joe came home having a bad day. So I, I wanted to make him... I was going to make them the loaf anyway. But I wanted to make more of an effort to make it. Because he's, he's going to be sad. And he's wanting banana loaf for ages. So... Okay, the sauce is definitely reducing. I think we're going well. About to go into a meeting though. Oh no! Well, I hope you guys still get to see the end result of the pork. Oh, I should say, we are actually making a recipe redemption. And if you have enough channel points, you can do a redemption too. And I will make the food that you have asked me to make. It's a lot of channel points to stop. Um, <laughs> to stop trolls coming in. And also just because, you know, I only cook once a week, so. Good, wonderful. Put that there, put this there, and put this in the oven. Okay, Google, set me a timer for one hour. My cast iron's in there, oh dear. My diamonds. My diamonds, that's what she thought I said. Right, I think we can calm down a little bit now. Oh my god, it's so warm. So warm! Wah. Can you post a banana loaf recipe in Discord afterwards? I'd love to see how easy or hard it was. Okay, sure. It is my personal banana loaf recipe. I'm sure that bananas and pork could mix. Can you make a banana pork loaf? If you want me to try. <laughs> it's not that many points. It only took me five years of watching you. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. This is more like it. How's it smell? We got a raid from Star. Oh, wow. Star has gone to bed, but oh, everyone else is still here. Thank you, everyone. Hope you all enjoy Lara's stream. 
It's one of the best streams this side of Scotland. Good show. It's quite a big, quite a big, uh, what's the word? It's one of the best. Claim. It's one of, one of the best, not the best, them. yeah. I mean, there are like 65. Like also, a, no, way also more than that. including, but not limited to, Copper Confetti and Andalf the Grey. Oh, of course, yeah. And definitely not down to me blowing a huge quantity of points on making you do unpleasant things. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that smells so good now. Right, that's if I cook that anymore, that's gonna start burning. So, oh, could you get the too hot, please, from the drawer? Yeah. You swear. Sorry, I'm away to go lie down. Okay. I think I just need it. Do you want to try some of this or just have it later? It's not, not it's not, not cold when, enough to eat yet. Not so. when, when you're trying some. Okay. It shouldn't it won't be long. If I'm awake, I'll go. Okay. Love you too. Joe had a bad day at work today. And it's not unfortunately it's an ongoing problem. But he's uh so he's come home a bit unhappy and he was really tired because he didn't get much sleep. So he's going off to have a little bit of a nap. So we mustn't it, we mustn't disturb him too much. So I will only call him through when everything is done. Okay? Okay, good. Also, apologies for the poll screen flashing up. I've, uh, I have don't have a button to make a marker on the stream so I can cut it out later so there's no swear word. Um, but that that's the closest I have. So that, that's enough to show me that I need to cut that bit out. Added artwork to the server if you want to look later. I can look at it now while this is cooling down. Look how sticky it is. It's not quite as dark as the one in the picture. But hopefully it's good. <laughs> A different spin on a childhood favorite, yours or Joe's. <gasps> also, do you like my alert? <laughs> Thank you so much, Cake. Okay. We have a new recipe redemption. That's good, because I was running out of things to make because people hadn't been redeeming the points. So, it's childhood favorite. <gasps> I could make a Lunchable. Anyway, I'll think about it. We'll have to plan something. Um, Thank you so much, Cake. That's so exciting. Right, let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, that's so good! Oh, that's such a cool- Oh, that's such a cool artwork. I love that. It's a cute alert. Thank you. I'd forgotten I'd set that up, so that was a surprise. That's why I went, ooh, because I'd forgotten I'd set an alert for it. Right, um, quick, we need to season this rice before it gets to, um, before all of the steam leaves, so we can, uh, do stuff to it. We're just gonna put some sushi seasoning and maybe some sesame oil on the rice because that's what I usually do because plain rice is boring and disgusting. So we're just gonna quickly season it. Grilled cheese sandwich but with hummus. You and your grilled cheese sandwiches. I mean, hold on. Well, Golden One does want me to make a bread stream, just making bread. So, you know, do that and make grilled cheese. Make the cheese. No, I won't have time to make cheese on the stream. Homemade grilled cheese from scratch. <laughs> Small arty surprise for you, but I'll give it to you at work. What? Um, okay. Yeah, no, I am working tomorrow, but oh my goodness. A small arty surprise for me. Very intriguing. So before um, people from the, the raid leave, unless you already have, um, I... Nope, my brain's gone blank. Yes, I'm doing a charity stream, not next Friday, but the Friday after that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we're gonna be doing a charity stream. I'm gonna, I don't 100% know what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I've got my, um, shall I try that again? Hold on, T take two. So, uh, two weeks from now, I'm gonna be doing a charity stream for Marie Curie, uh, because that was my uh, grandparents' charity of choice. Unfortunately, they passed away last month. Um, and I'm going to do it basically in their name and we're going to, I've, I man I've got my great grandmother's recipe book from their house, it was in handwritten, so I'm going to find something in there that we can make and that's going to be what we're going to do. So if you want to come back for that, I will make a little, in the schedule part, I'll talk about this next week I'm sure, but I'm going to do a little bonus stream thing so you can set a reminder just for that stream if you want to. Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, I do a lot, I do put a lot of work into my eyeshadow. So I appreciate that. 
It's also my vi my saturation is up really high because it was super. Pa I realized I was actually way paler on the camera because of the way it was set up. So I've turned it up. So now this is what I look like normally. I'll either let you open it tomorrow. You can save it for next stream. I'll let you choose. Well, I'm intrigued. Maybe I'll. S I mean, I wouldn't be waiting long to save it for a stream. So maybe I'll do that. But it depends if you want my reaction. Okay, what am I missed? You should do Jamie Oliver's grilled cheese sandwich with crown. Hey, thank you for that follow. I appreciate you. Yeah, I've waited a bit too long. This is starting to get a bit dry. So this is sushi seasoning. I kind of just eyeball it. Sorry, I can't give you measurements. That looks like enough. Maybe a bit more. And I just add this to the rice so it's not super plain and boring. It's not sushi rice, it is just regular white rice, but. Just to give it some flavor. Play too many as uh, Sims and someone says, RT surprise. I started looking for, oh, it's hot. what? And one eyeball worth of seasoning. Yes, that's how you measure it. Okay, so we've got cabbage. Um, we've got rice, we've got the pork belly and something in the oven, but the oven thing is not going to be done for the rest of the stream. Sorry everyone, but join the Discord and you'll get to see what it looks like when it's done. Right, I'm going to try a tiny piece of this pork belly. Oh no. I probably cooked, could have cooked down the sauce a smidgen more, but. Oh my god. Could someone clip that for hit people? I need to have one more. I'm gonna have one more and then I'm gonna plate it up. first piece I had had the fat was a little bit un like undercooked and it was still a little bit like you know when you get a bit of fat on bacon that's not cooked properly or like not cooked the way you like it and it's like a bit too like nah, nah, it's a bit, bleh. that's what it was like the first piece I had but the second piece I had it just went <sighs> just disappeared just vanished oh my god that's so good that's so good <laughs> holy mackerel right I need to get a plate before I eat all of it, because I will. I will eat all of it. So I need to get something to serve it on. Oh my god. I haven't even tried, I haven't tried the cabbage. The cabbage is gonna be really disappointing after that, to be honest. Yeah, it just tastes like cabbage. I'm gonna need to put some more ginger in that because you can't taste it at all. Right. Let's just not serve the cabbage. We'll have it with cabbage for dinner. But I won't serve the cabbage because it looks sad. Let's uh, let's get this plating. Shall we move? I'm going to move the camera back to where it usually is. Oop. Oop. Oh wow, yeah, you cannot see that. Let's move this over here. Just try and make some space. Away with you, sir. Ah! Sorry, it rebelled because I threw it down. Joe's no longer asleep, that's for certain. Right. Gonna make like a nice little bed. It's a little bit dried out already. So I either didn't add enough water or I left it in there for too long. 
because like the uh the rice cooker i had keeps it warm but it also dries it out when it does that so i'm trying to make it like a nice little bed nice little bed for this it doesn't look too sad you know no you didn't i did nothing wrong there was no scuffing happening here that's not in the center what are you doing girl pop that into the center A lot less it's a lot more difficult to see if this looks good on camera because <laughs> i'm used to the camera being above the plate yes blame blame your your camera setup don't take credit for it don't do anything yourself of course not All right, hold on let me give these a clean because i think i just use these for ice cubes so they should be fine you guys want to see my my cute little accessory that i have like the little cat paws are they sweet are they sweet so we're going to use that to uh on the plate let's try and get the prettiest looking ones i think maybe the thinner ones are the ones that are more melty which makes sense you know they're smaller next time i think i'd cut these maybe a bit smaller oh yes i was gonna do some uh gonna do some spring onion as well oh no oh I've made a mess maybe I should put these in a maybe this should have gone in a bowl it doesn't look very pretty like this I'll put the other ones in a bowl that's what we'll do how many times in a stream can I make this face She's making it worse. Oh, it's so sticky. That's why it's not coming off. Just instantly got stuck to the plate. Right. Looks good. Looks good. Rice is a little sad looking, but it'll do. Let's see if there's any any of these spring onions are salvageable because they're all quite droopy and sad. No, I think that one might be okay. Cut some little spring onion rings. Just so it's got something, a little pop of colour on the top, you know? Ooh! Sesame seeds? No. No sesame seeds. We do not need extra things. We are good. Um, and I'm going to plate some in a bowl, so excuse me. Unfortunately, you are sitting on top of the bowls, so I need to quickly move you. You're now going to be shorter. Don't be too surprised, okay? Whoa! You're now lower down. Honestly, I don't want to have these with rice. I just want to eat them as they are, but they're going to go really quickly if I do that. So we're going to try and plate them prettily. Fill this bowl with rice. Make it really nice. Yum, 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 yum. Please get in my tum. There we go. Doop. All right, that's the rice done with. I'll put, I'll put cabbage in that one. So we have a little bit of vegetable sesame seed and oil will go great with these yes there's sesame oil on the cabbage but um we could maybe put some sesame seeds on it too if we're feeling financy i do have sesame seeds i'm just really bad at making them look nice i usually just end up dumping them and they look awful but let's pop some of these on the top these ones don't have to be as pretty because this is like the second picture Oh no. Oh sir. They don't have to be as pretty, she says, and then panics when they start going everywhere. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please. Please. Oh god, it's going all over the bowl. <gasps> no! Oh no, this tiny piece is too small. I will have to eat it. What a shame. Oh my god, it's so good. 
with the chicken strips. Ah, that's the sound. <laughs> that's the sound of today. Oh, that's just a bit of fat. Like, it's so simple. I was really worried that the sauce wouldn't be as bussin. Sorry, I apologize immediately. As I thought it would be. I mean, I was worried it wasn't going to be as bussin as it looked because I was like, it's going to be so simple, but it must be the wine. It's the wine, it's getting to me. Let's get some more sesame. No, this is not sesame. This is spring onion. Use your words. I know they both begin with S and it's confusing, but you're a big girl. You know the difference. Yeah, let's do sesame seeds on that one. What is falling? Okay, we're good. Avoided that. I thought something was going to fall out and smack onto my dish. The stress. The anxiety. So here's the recipe, by the way. If you're wanting it. And if you're watching this later, it's uh, from The Walks of Life. Their recipe. That doesn't look as pretty because it's got the cabbage on it, but. Let's do both. Why not? Let's go crazy. Yeah, it's hippie people guy. HPG. 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 It was currently in a meeting, I believe, unfortunately. Alright, let's get this. Uh, Let's get these pictures taken. As they would say on sorted food, let's get these into the sexies. That's what they call the, the, the nice pictures that they take. Get that out of the way. There we go. We need some good pictures for the gram. Not that I've posted on the gram in ages, but at least this gives me the option, you know? All of the angles. Right. Let's get some of this boy. Get him out of the way as well. This is more like, this is what I'm going to serve for dinner, honestly. So this is probably, I'm probably just going to give Joe to eat this bowl with the cabbage in it. The cabbage looks a bit sad, honestly. Above. Oh, there's a smear on that side of the bowl that I didn't notice. Let's just angle the camera so you can't see it. Good, good, good. And let's take a picture of the ones in the pan because they look so good. Right. I will give a knock. And if he comes through, he comes through. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. I'm going to have another piece from the pan. Oh, no, wait. Is there movement? Oh, there's movement. Fantabulous. Pajama Joe! Oh, so this is your dinner, but you don't have to have it now. So I put it all together. But you can you're also feel free to just try a piece as well if you want to do that instead. Ah, not sharing a fork. Smart. What are you doing? Oh, he's getting chopsticks for it. I'm not good at chopsticks, I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. Need to do the swap. Make sure we're standing on the right side so I can hear you. I've already had a piece to try it, but I haven't had it all together. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, that's what I did. I literally just stopped. <laughs> can I have one of these pieces? If I can join you. Wow. There's a bit more sauce on the rice. Mm. Yeah, there's all that sauce, and that's all there is. I think you need to take the pork out of there and make a wee little pan sauce from that. That might be a good idea. Because that is, this is just too dry. Oh no, I know. The rice is overdone. But just, just taste the pork for now and I'll fix the rice. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, that's a shame. What? That bit of uh, green onion just ruined completely it. overpowered it. Oh. Just take it off then. I didn't put as much on yours. So I just wanted it to look pretty. Mm. I'm going to have this one. Mm. That's lovely. None of the best part. Oh. Still have half of the pork belly in the fridge. Mm. Yeah, if you can make a little pan sauce. Mm -hmm. Go through that, that'd be wonderful. I'm gonna put it there. Because I'm not hungry just yet. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if I don't eat until I'm hungry, I'm just gonna waste that. Oh, yeah. So, so I'm gonna try and have a wee nap. Okay, Ooh. well, can I, can I. You got a verdict for the camera before you go? That's really, really nice. That's really, really nice. Um. It's like got a really nice, rich, sort of earthy flavour, but I'm kind of losing it. It, it feels diluted. It the does, flavor. yeah. It needs to have something more to it. I think like a sauce, like making an actual sauce mm -hmm. with that will just... Mm. But it's, that's really, really nice and I'd recommend. If you do eat meat, making that. Um, if you don't eat meat, meat, try and find a meat substitute that would work well. Just taking out that's all the little bits. Okay. Thank you very much. Now have a good nap, and I'll see you after the stream. Love you, Bean. So, <clears throat> this is all the sauce we have. Like, there's like nothing in here. I don't really know. I could always add more of everything and then just cook it a bit more. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'll do that. for our dinner. I'm gonna have some more though, cause it's, I'm really hungry and it's really good. Look at that. Look at it. Ooh, don't listen though. That was screechy. Look, look at this one. Look at that. Hold on, let's get the focus. Yomp. Yomch. That's what I say to that. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Let's do it. I'm going to try and stick to the same ratio. Ooh, that did not work. That came out way faster than I expected. Let's get all of the stuff off the sides. I'm just gonna add some sugar. You're about to type what? You're about to type to just make the sauce again. <laughs> Let's go with. There wasn't that much. Ooh, that's a lot more than I meant to do. Whoop. It's fine. We'll be fine. So before there was um, water added, which is I think why it took so long to cook down. But this time we're just gonna do it with just everything but the water. And. Uh, make a little sauce we just need it to be thick so if we need to add a little bit of flour we'll do that but i think it should be fine like this just to cook off a little bit of the liquid honestly i just want to eat i don't want to i don't want to wait i'm gonna have this bit this bit's just fat it's actually really good i didn't think i would like it if it was just the fat oh my god This recipe is so simple. Oh, I didn't even try the cabbage. Like, I did try it a little bit, but... 
Oh, that bit was gingery. Okay, is that... That looks like it's starting to thicken up a little bit. You know what we could do with some... I feel like I should add some, like, pepper flakes or something, but I'm not going to. Actually, I will. I'll add a little bit. I don't like spicy things, but I think it'll give it just something. There we go. This is how I make dinner. I go, mm, doesn't quite seem right. Something's up. You haven't seen Henry the Hob? He did He did come out earlier. <laughs> if you mean my induction hob. He was here earlier for the, uh, the frying of the cabbage. Alright, let's give that a taste before it gets too thick. And we can't alter it. Oh my god, that is so strong. Oh no, it needs water. It needs water. Holy moly. Henry was he he was sneaky. He wasn't out for very long. But he was sneaky. I need to open my door. It's too hot in here with the oven on. Whoa. Quick, here we go. a little bit more wine because right now it just tastes like soy sauce oh sorry not actually looking at the right camera there you go let's get drunk let's get drunk <laughs> i'm not drinking the wine it's okay water and a pinch of corn flour mm, yes good idea Thicken that up. Let's find a bowl. That's clean. <coughs> Currently listening, uh, eating leftover egg roll in a bowl. That sounds good. Oop, came out of the wrong part of the bag there. That's probably way too much corn flour. But it's okay, because you guys can't see what I'm doing. So everything's fine. Think we, yeah, I think we definitely need more water. Can you see that? No. Oh my god, I'm so warm. Honestly, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm just rushing around now. I'm, I'm just so warm. I'm really struggling. Stop spinning! You see my problem? It just spins. I'll try spinning. That's a neat trick. Oh, instantly. There we go. And that should be thick enough to coat the rice. Coat the rice. Make it nice. So let's give it a try, shall we? Okay, Google. How much time? Halfway through the banana loaf. That's very intense. I mean, that's too intense, honestly. Um, don't really want to water it down anymore. But at the same time, I think I do. <laughs> so what's in egg roll in a bowl? I'm imagining it's just whatever it would be in an egg roll. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put this back on the heat, I think. It's a good consistency, but it's way too strong. I think it's the dark soy sauce. There's too much of it. It just kind of came out the bottle. But it might be fine on the rice. So maybe I'll just try it. Nah, this needs to cook down a bit more now. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Once this is, I'm going to take this off the heat and then I'm going to take a second to take a breath, I think. Mm. 
snake oil basically just without the wrapper. My wife substitutes a pork with a meat substitute. Lovely. That sounds really nice. Sleep time for me. If I type random things on my phone, it's because I'm asleep. Well, thanks for hanging out, Chocobo, and I hope uh, that you have a good restful sleep and that you uh, you get some sweet dreams about um, tasty, tasty food. I mean, this, this sauce could be thicker, honestly. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there on the... I've turned off the hob, but let's leave it there to thicken up. You sent me a snap. Ooh. Ooh. I'll go check it. If you want to add me on Snapchat, support me on Patreon. Oh, that looks lovely. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. My friends in my group chats at the zoo today and he was sending me, um, sending me pictures of all the cute animals. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that's done. And now we're gonna take a second because I'm a bit overwhelmed because I was doing so much at once. We're gonna take a second and we're gonna breathe. We're gonna breathe, gonna... might not transfer as much to the food if it's a bit too concentrated. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to try it on some of the um, rice. Nope, talk. You don't need to talk so fast. Just chill. Just chill. I'm going to try it on some of this rice because the rice was very dry and it might be fine when, once it's diluted. See, it's, it's very solid. It's a shame. Don't ruin a, ba don't ruin a dish with bad rice. Okay. Oop. Nope, just drop it straight back in. That's fine. Mm-hmm. We're good. I did it. We now have a sauce. We have succeeded. I'm gonna give more of these to Joe because he ate quite a few. And it doesn't look like he's got much in his bowl now. I won't add the sauce until it's time for him to eat because I don't want it to like soak into the rice without before he's ready to eat it. Let's give him the good bits. He's had a bad day. We'll give him some nice tasty bits. I've had quite a few. Here we go. Oh, wait, where's the camera? I forgot where the camera was there. So that's Joe's one. He's got some cabbage in his and the sauce that I just made. And that's it. We're done. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Take a picture of the sauce to prove that I also made a sauce. And then actually, you know what? I will... Actually, actually, actually. Oh, I just got some rice in it. Oh well. I will drizzle as much as I can. If it is yummy, the meat substitute is a bit spicy, so there's some kick to it. Ooh, do you know what kind of meat substitute was used? I'm assuming it, it was probably like a brand of something. Now, now that I've taken the nice pictures, I'm probably going to just um, dump some cabbage on there as well, even though the cabbage is a bit disappointing. It's just so we had some vegetables, you know? I always try and have some kind of vegetable with dinner. Field roast. Hmm, interesting. Here we go. Big splodge. All right, let's try it again. Gonna mix it all together. Kind of so it looks like egg roll in a bowl. <gasps> hey, people guy! Oh, I took a clip for you um, of me trying it, but I'll recreate it for you. You ready? So imagine I've got a piece. In, I've got a piece on my fork. That's basically what I did. It's so good. Like, I was really worried that the fat was going to just be... Because it didn't look like it had cooked down enough. So I was really worried that the fat was just going to be really chewy or, like, not nice. Oh, it works really well with the cabbage now, actually. I 
be cold man. Sausage patties, sausages, etc. Ooh, very exciting. Um, hippie book guy, we also made extra sauce. So I did the same. I tried to do the same kind of ratio again, but for the for a sauce, and then I put it over the top. Um, but it works really well with a cabbage, which I didn't do on purpose, but it, it all works together very nicely. Mm -mm -mm. Joe's still got some in his bowl. Hold on. She went for a nap. So this is how it turned out for him. Well, for all, both of us, I guess. I, I gave him extra, but I'll put it in there. I don't know if I should put it in the fridge or just leave it. But, here you go, I'm going to have another piece. good I didn't think that I I liked pork belly that much but I guess I've never really I've only really had it once but when people talk about pork belly I'm like eh, you know whatever no more no more eh, whatever I've just added some salt because I think it needs a little bit of salt so I'm gonna try this one Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, hippie people guy. I appreciate the recipe. I appreciate the redemption. Oh, I'm sorry I took so long to make it. Here is the recipe. Oh no, I think it's been in the chat recently, actually. I don't need to push the button. Um, so, oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. We still have half an hour before the banana loaf is done, but I'm probably just gonna wrap up the stream here because we're just gonna be standing around for half an hour. Um, and then it's not gonna be edible again for another like half an hour after that because I need to wait for it to cool. So we're just gonna, oh, make slowly make our way towards wrapping up the stream. We're not gonna do it right now. Oh my god. That's so tasty. Oh, it's so tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Hold on. Let's, um... Let's see who we can find to go and say hello to. And send some, um... Amazing... Food delicious yum 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 um energy too i can't even speak words anymore apparently Ooh, irish kate's online let's go to irish kate she's making pretzels hell yeah let's go see some pretzels okay i'm gonna take these ears off because my head is starting to get squished it's all that food you know filling up my brain that's totally how it works um Right, well, we'll start to wrap up. Ooh! Sausage egg roll in a bowl. Thank you very much for your redemption. We had two redemptions today, actually. So we've had this, which looks uh, lovely. Oh my goodness. Thank you. This uh, sausage egg roll in a bowl. And we also had a remake, a childhood favorite. Love. I love it. Just got a ran, like a... Not a specific recipe, just a, a general... What's the word I'm looking for? Brief. Brief. Ironically, did not make that brief when I was trying to explain it. Oh, man. It's only been three and a half hours, which is quite short for a stream. For a cooking stream of mine. But I think it may be time, because my... Oh, that was a rhyme. Oh, another one. Um, my <laughs> legs are starting to um, get a bit sore, so I think it may be time for us to wrap up. We're going to go see Irish Kate, who's making pretzels. But before we do... 
I'd like to say a massive thank you to Hip People Guy for uh, this recipe. Holy guacamole. Also, I should say, if you support me on Patreon, um, if you're over a certain... I think if you're over the minimum, um, you are actually entitled to another recipe request. By the way, if, you any, if you're one of my Patreon supporters watching right now. Um, but I will... You know, you can always send me a message and be like, am I entitled? I'll be like, yes. Because I sent one out a while ago, but it's through Patreon and people don't tend to check the messaging service on Patreon. Anyway. Oh, actually, speaking of Patreon, I may be moving to Fan House because apparently it's really good. So I'll, I'll talk about it more if I decide to do it, but I'm going to look at it and decide what I want to do. Um, yes. Anyway, let's ka -chow. Have a look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It does look amazing. It is amazing. It's so good. Um, shall I get... I'm going to get um, Joe's plate because it actually is looks way nicer than mine. Because I've eaten mine. There we go. Um, so, today we made Shanghai-style Shanghai braised pork belly. Um, which I served with like a ginger. Oh, I know I was gonna put soy sauce on the. I'm glad I didn't. That would have been too much soy sauce. Uh, a ginger sesame oil cabbagey thing. Very simple. Um, and rice. And I put sesame seeds on it and spring onions. And then I made a sauce, which is basically the same as what I braised them in, minus the water. And I cooked that down with a bit of corn flour until it was lovely and um, thick thick so I could put it on the rice but I haven't put it on this one because I didn't want to make it messy before it was its time I do wish I had a picture of the pork belly with the sauce on it I could do it now but I don't want it to get you know what let's 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 do it I should have probably tossed the pork belly in the sauce there we go that's enough I'll get a nice close-up shot um so that's what we did today um, I've also put a banana loaf in the oven, but it is, that wasn't an extra thing. Um, but it was a lovely recipe redemption from, I'm just taking pictures now, recipe redemption from Hip People Guy, so that's super massively appreciated. Let's run some credits. I still use my old emotes. I need to change my layout. Like, those are my old emotes. Joe doesn't even have a beard in that. Thank you so much to my mods, Luco and Mox and Show and Flinks, who was here earlier. Uh, for the followers from basically Janina, Titubu, um, the sub from Scroll, the host from Eevee, and the raid from Star, of course. Of course, the raid from Star. Thank you so much, of course, to my amazing patrons listed below. Ego, People Bug Guy, Kirsty Luco, Pete, Samuel, Cho, Sketchy, and Dragon for basically enabling me to be able to do this um, every week. If it wasn't for you, I would not be able to do cooking streams at all, pretty much. So I really appreciate all of your love and support. I always feel like I wrap up the end of the stream really fast, but it's like my brain starts to shut down and I feel like I'm like, I have to get out of here. I have to not like get out of here because I don't want to be here, but it's like, I have to sit down. I have to sit down. I do, you know, I need to get, I need to get a chair that when I sit on it, I'm the same height so that I'm just, I'm just here and that way I can just sit down because it's really becoming an issue. So yes, anyway, let's, um, don't forget to check out the vods. Thank you. I'm actually going to push this, which I think comes up with another thing. It does. Um, but I appreciate the <laughs> the VODs. So yes, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, that's the best place to follow me. If, if I'm not streaming for some reason, it's the best place to check first. I do post on Discord if it's a pre-planned thing. Speaking of, next Tuesday, I won't be streaming at the regular time because I have my vaccination at like the, when I would start the stream. So I won't be here for a few hours. Um, so that's fun. So... <laughs> Um, I'll be a bit late on Tuesday, but that should be the only thing that's different next week. I don't know what we're cooking, but maybe we can do one of the redemptions. Maybe we'll do the egg roll in a bowl next week. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so yes, also the Discord. I will post a picture of the banana loaf when it's done in Discord so you can see that. And also it's just a good place to join for recipes and stuff because we got so many. We've got like a little backlog. It's like a little... It's like its own Pinterest board on my Discord. Um, and as Mox rightfully pointed out, if you do want to catch up on any of my previous cooking content, there'll be a new video posting tomorrow, I, th I think, tomorrow at 1pm. I don't actually remember what time I said it at, but it's definitely tomorrow. Um, from a few months ago, 
I'm trying to catch up with all the cooking vods, so they're all available on my Twitch, no, on my <laughs> YouTube. Wow, see, that's why we need to stop. Um, but now that I've done all of that, thank you, Punk and Black. You have a good day as well. Um, let's make sure I've spe spelt Kate's name right. She's not leaving, is she? Okay, I think... I don't think she's leaving. Good, good. I've been seeing a lot of her TikToks, which is why I was like, oh, yes, we've got to see her um have lots of fun gaming and stuff i'm probably gonna go oh no that's the wrong button i'm probably going to go um sit down and then maybe play some back for blood though i would be with random people so i don't know how i feel about that because there's no single player in the beta and i don't know how i feel about playing with random people maybe i'll just play neverwinter instead who knows anyway i love your faces let's get this raid started Let's get next stream goal. Let me get. Let's get a chair for me for the kitchen. I have no idea if they even sell chairs that are that high. I literally just want one that's my butt height, so I don't need to change the camera every time I sit down. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm gonna go through my usual spiel. Please remember to stay safe, wear your mask, get a vaccine if you can. Um, let's see. Love each other is what Joe said earlier. Please make sure to call out bigotry when you're safe to do so. Um, take your medication, drink some water, eat some food, and please remember, most importantly, to love yourself. And if you can't love yourself, remember that we love you. And that should be enough for now. You have a bar stool. It depends how tall it is. Message me so we can figure it out. Um, yeah, so to let you guys know, Irish Kate's stream is mature audience because she does swear, but she's very nice. She's a nice soul. So we're going to go and say hi to her. She's making pretzels right now. But um, I would 100% recommend this. I do have more pork belly. So if you have pork belly recipes and you want to share them in the Discord, I'm down for that. But I need to, I'm going to freeze what I have left because I'm not going to use it this week. Anyway, I love your faces. Please stay safe out there. I'm going to push that raid button. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. If you've watched the entire, the entire vault already, that's amazing. Okay, I'm going to push that button now. I love you. Stay safe. And I'll see you on Tuesday.